just when you thought it was safe to come outside. It's not. Welcome to the war zone. Welcome to the United Streets of Aggression. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, welcome back to the Shoe Dog Podcast, episode 112, with me and the bro, 808 Kicks ATL. Please do like, follow, subscribe, come and chat to us, let's have a conversation, let's break it down like we always do, because we always break it down, and you you said that for a reason, because it is definitely the United States of aggression, especially when uh, you got Future, you got Drake, and then you got Rick Ross coming out, and we're still waiting for Kendrick to come out, because that's going to be crazy, and it's going to go crazy, and today we're going to go crazy, we did take a week off, uh, because yeah. we needed it, but now we're we're back and what we're here to do this week bro we're like we always here to do every week bro same thing we do every <laughs> week bro try to take over the world and today today we have a very special guest very very special guest very 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 special guest today um i'm gonna be nice i'm gonna play nice <laughs> i'm gonna play nice um the, the guest that we have on today um, speaks to the diversity that we like to bring to the podcast, yep. the diversity that we like to keep in our circle, our personal circle of, of shoe dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He took me to I, court I, and and I got smoke <laughs> flowing for that. But but we're gonna we gonna be cool. We're gonna be cool and we go we're gonna laugh and we're gonna have fun. Yeah. But but I, we all met this guest through the podcast because it was through this podcast we had conversations and through this podcast and this is why I tell you guys it's important to reach out have a conversation let's just have a general chat because it's not always about conflict it's not always about mm-hmm. your stuff's better than our stuff it's about a general conversation and that's what we're here to do if you like and the guest we're going to have today actually made some valid comments and made some valid points and said it's let's do this and Hey, whoa, whoa! I say so because I'm I'm saying neutral today. I'm saying neutral today. I I say so because basically it just means that we open up the diversity that we always talk about. Open up different aspects. Open up different avenues, and open up different conversations. And that's what's most important. That's always what's what most what's most important in these circumstances. Just because we want to have those conversations, right, bro? Whatever, man. We got no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that Ian Russell. <laughs> The bro, yo, the bro. Gentlemen. Hello, What's gentlemen. Up? Thank you so Welcome much for letting me come on. Yeah, no, worries, no, bro. no, bro. When when <laughs> we serious when we say, if you have the conversations with us, you will end up on the pod at some point. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we, we we love having these conversations with different people and meeting new people and meeting new cool people. Yep. Even though well, you took me to court. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen. I'm not going to let it go. You know? I'm not going to let it go. <laughs> you know I've been taking shots at you every single episode. <laughs> Until you came on. Until you came on. <laughs> I've been listening. I have been listening. And when I haven't been listening, I've had messages sent over just to stir the pot. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Yeah, yeah. See, see so... It's, you know what? You know what? The energy has now shifted from from you and to TJ. This I, is the thing, bro. This is the thing, Q. He's the instigator, right? I'm not I instigating was like, anything. You are such a monkey, <laughs> honestly. You definitely, definitely instigated. I, 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 I only, I only like cool behind my back, huh? No, uh, no, no. I, 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 I only, I only say what's said. And repeat it to people that need to listen to it. And that's the honest truth. I don't make up lies. I just no, say, no. Ian, you need to go listen to the show. No, you didn't lie. There was there was no lying. 
There was no lying, but there was some stirring of the pot. For sure. <laughs> it, it's it's going to make this episode way more exciting. Let's just be honest. It's going to make this episode way more exciting. It's, it's good. It's because basically, um, I know you listen, Ian, and um, I know you've been I on do. your travels recently as well, which is which is awesome. And you just come back, and I was just making sure you were in tune to what's been said, so that yeah. you can you realize what when you're coming on, what you're dealing with, pretty much. <laughs> TJ's so innocent. Look at his little innocent face. No I'm staring. Innocent. No, I am. Wait, what, what, was, what was that saying? Don't Not guilty that. until proven guilty, right? No, you yeah, we can't I, prove your ass, mate. I'll tell you what, at the end of this episode, somebody might be in the dock and it isn't going to be me or Q. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my just... wooden spoon. Let me get my wooden spoon. <laughs> No, no. Let me use the let me let me use the gavel to stir. <laughs> hey, you, you keep you keep what you keep your penalty count uh, close here. Yeah. You might get ejected this episode. You know, like one of, one of the things I one of the things that appealed to me about your podcast from the beginning was you two laughing, um, and I think that's a big part of it for me. Is you know, I don't, I don't necessarily like love the same trainers or sneakers. I'll call yeah. sneakers just to be good, as you guys do. But it was about we're all old shoe dogs, as it were. You know, we all yeah. collect, yeah. and yes, our tastes may be different. But it was more about like you two laughing at each other and joking, and that's why I was listening. Um, and then obviously I'd okay. shout, I'd shout at the radio as well, every once in a while when you were like, "This is the best, this is the best drainer in the world." And it's like, it's, nah, it's an Air Jordan Eleven. Come on, what? Don't see, see, see. No, <laughs> yo, see? Ian, Ian's already flinging. Ian's already see? flinging. Hey, hey. You, better, you better be careful. You better be oh. careful. You better be careful. Uh, I'm, I've, I've lost. I've lost too much in these past few weeks. Okay, I'm on edge. All right. Speaking of which, um, R.I.P. Louis Gossett Jr. We lost uh, Louis Gossett Jr. a couple of weeks ago. Um, O.J. also passed. O.J. Simpson. Mm -hmm. I, ain't, I ain't got too much to say about that. Um, DJ Mr. C, legendary um, New York DJ. Yes. Uh, he discovered Biggie. Uh, pioneer of what we like to refer to as the golden age of hip hop, which you know, our generation we call the '90s the golden era. Mm -hmm. Um, but yesterday, Rico Wade passed, and I'm gonna try not to crack up right now because uh, I did enough of that uh, yesterday. Uh, Rico Wade was a, a pioneer for Atlanta. Um. He was the founding member of the Dungeon Family, organized noise along with um, Ray and Sleepy Brown, Ray Murray and Sleepy Brown. They they brought out Outcast to us. They brought Goody Mob to us. They brought um, so much more instrumentation and great songwriting to um, artists from Atlanta and around Atlanta. <clears throat> And and um, other artists around the country and the world that appreciated them, and they got to do a lot of work. Rico Wade put in thirty plus years of greatness into this culture, and in every step of that way, he represented Atlanta, and he made us feel like we could do it too. He and Outkast. Organized Noise, Goody Mob, they were our pioneers for the city. They were able to, to show the world what Atlanta was before anybody else knew. Before the Olympics came to Atlanta, we had Organized Noise. You know, Outkast in 92, 93, Goody Mob in 1995. They showed the world what Atlanta was before the world knew, before the Olympics came here in it's turned to this transient mess that it is now. I wrote down, um, I wrote through my old neighborhood yesterday. Um, my heart was heavy. Felt like um, I just wanted to go to the place where I was when Rico B 
became a part of my life. Me being a musician and um, having aspirations to to follow in their footsteps, you know, it meant a lot to me to see them winning. It meant a lot to all of us. So I, I rode through my old neighborhood yesterday. I ain't been over there in a long time, you know. And it, I just had to reflect. And my wife been helping me. My, my wife is great with helping me with loss because I done lost a lot. You know, my uncle passed about a month ago. So I just been going through it lately. But uh, I just want to say shout out to everybody in the Dungeon family, the Wade family, uh, in Atlanta as a whole. And everybody that loved and respected Rico, shout out to y'all. R.I.P. Rico Wade. Yeah, that's that's that's, that's yeah. loss. That's a massive loss, bro. That's a massive loss. And I know you how how you was feeling yesterday when I when I messaged you and you you dropped me a message as well. Um, it's it was sad to it's very sad to hear. Um, but yeah, damn. I'm gonna take you damn shit, I'll be wearing these shades too much. <laughs> golden, golden time, golden time in music that was for sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm probably a little older, so I pro, I'm, I'm more like uh, takes a nation of millions to hold us back, stuff like that. That was kind of my jam when I was young. Mm. As a young little white kid from North England, like <laughs> Beastie Boys and uh, yeah, Public, Public Enemy, Enemy and, 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 and then yeah. Ice T, Ice Cube. Especially loved Ice T, me. I really loved Ice T. Yeah, he yeah. was him. He oh, was, was him, boy. He was real, you know. He was real. Yeah. Not that I knew anything about that world, but he, he still felt real to me, you know. I, I still yeah. know all yeah. the words to like most iced tea songs. <laughs> yeah, Listen, I, don't, I don't even remember what I had for lunch yesterday, but I remember all the lyrics to like Fly By or <laughs> Original that, Gangster you know, or, you know what I mean? I'm like, yeah. Oh. But it's, it's really funny yeah. that because basically, move, just swiftly moving on to age, when you when you get older, don't you think you start to forget things more that, on, on the recency and you reminisce about? what was happening back then because you have fonder memories back then not the fact that you, your life is better back then but your you i think your recollection of your memory when you're younger is more stronger than it is when you're older for some reason i find that now as well personally i remember bro. things way better than what, <laughs> from back in the day than i do now bro if i'm 52 years old i walk into rooms all the time and i and i forget what i went in for you know so <laughs> yeah. Ian, this, this has been happening this has been happening to me for the past probably five six years of my life, there you bro. go. Yeah, yeah. I will. I will. I will go downstairs and I get down there. And I'm like, wait a minute. Let me go back upstairs and get that thought. I left the thought that I <laughs> had in the room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. I, I, I go it's back like upstairs. Yo, 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 yo. It's back. like a I Mario. Have to, I, I have to go right back to the exact position I was before I I went to go do what I forgot to do. Like, oh, yep. I, yep. I left the thought up here. Let me go get that. And, yeah. you, it, it's, like, it's like your it's like your game save point when you have to go back to your game save point to mm-hmm. restart the level. <laughs> yeah, auto save. Auto save. Oh. <laughs> what, what was I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> what do I need to grab? And all of a Always. sudden, ten, five minutes later, you're like, oh yeah, that's what I need to grab. <laughs> Crazy, bro. That whole thing about <laughs> stop thinking about it and it'll come to you. That's yeah. What I do, so. Yeah, mm, mm, yeah 100%. That, that's that's a good tactic. That's a good tactic. But going back onto sneakers, yeah, shit, by, by the way, shout out to Rico and all, all the family and stuff like that and, and, and stuff like that. But going back to um, sneakers today. Um, so how's your week been? We all start off with the week because you got stories, bro. I know Q's, Q's got stories. Ian, you probably got stories. And um, yeah, go, go on. Let's start off with Q because Q's laughing. Go on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 this is how old. This is how old he is. He has to look yes, up yes, on his phone. phone. <laughs> what did I do yesterday? I forgot, bro. I forgot. I was just the same. I'm the same. Festival yesterday, dog. I'm, oh. I forgot to send myself the picture, so I'm gonna try my best to put it on screen for y'all from my phone, bro. You can't see it, bro. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. What? <laughs> is that a concrete cinder block, bro? Them, 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 <laughs> them the Roblox sevens, right? <laughs> <laughs> it do like it do look like the Roblox sevens, bro. <laughs> it, look, it, it looks it, it looks like the mafia didn't complete their assassination. It literally looks like half the sneakers are half in concrete. <laughs> 
It, look, it looks like uh, the Adidas box trainers that were the April Fool recently. Oh, that, that was interesting. I, that was interesting. I, I thought that Adidas whole thing was a gimmick. Um, it was a gimmick, obviously, but I, I literally thought that they were going to... Um, I'm glad what they did. I'm actually glad what they did because I thought that if you bought the box, if you were in line to get the box and you actually purchased the box, they would have given you a secret drop that you wasn't expecting. And that would have been dope. But they actually did the raffle for, um, I think, some kind of designer suitcase or something like that. And which was, which, which is dope. TJ. What's up, bro? What secret, what secret they, got, they got that people are going to be excited about? I don't know, bro. I, I'm just saying. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> What's the may, 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 maybe may, oh maybe they would have dropped um like just a re restock of the three fifty V ones maybe possibly or or the wave runners that 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 they, if you bought the box you probably you will end up with a secret drop for the wave runners who knows bro you you could have done that I, I, I that would have been great I reckon that would have been epic the it was a joke though. The wave hmm? runners the only decent easy from Adidas to come out. Of I'm glad so you said that. It's the only. Uh, one. Did you not? You're not feeling the three fifties at all, bro. I never. I never purchased any of them. They they they're not my bag. They never were. They're a Roshi. They're. A, I'm, I've never. I've never been interested in any of the uh, Yeezys at all. I like the Boost technology. I've had those, yeah. but. Um, hey hey but hey, you, hey, but, hey, hey, know, hey 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 hey. Here we go, 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 go. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> it's true, right? Listen, what you'll, what you'll see with me is, although I like all kind of makes of trainers and I've got all brands, um, I will be honest, there's a lot of Adidas that's not my bag at all. Just like there's not, you know, there's Nike that aren't my bag, you know? Right, like okay, Nike. okay, so yeah. question. One question for you. Uh-huh. What's your sport? Football? Well, I mean, me personally, I played rugby. So you're a rugby I, guy? I was a rugby guy, and uh, but football is intertwined in our No, I mean, when culture. I say football, I mean soccer. Cause, I because you're from yeah, England. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate yeah. that. I appreciate you said, that. You said it right. You said it right, yeah, Cuban, in the first place. Not, Don't worry. For, we invented for, it. So we, we invented it. We get to name it, right? Um, <laughs> I ain't got no fighting. I ain't got no dog in the no, fight because I don't care true, about right? American football. Anyway. Uh, but but like you have to understand with especially with football, it's very tribal in the UK. It's super tribal. Yeah, that's yeah, why yeah, I'm yeah. asking. That's uh, why I'm asking. So I you have, I want to know no who's choice. your team. Who's Mike, your team? Well, I, I'm from Leeds, right? So I'm from the north uh, North English city called Leeds, uh, with mm. the fifth biggest metropolis in uh, the UK. Uh, around sort of 750,000, I think, something like that in our city. Um, and where you're born, that's your team. You have no real choice in the matter. Some people float around, but generally, I'm, I was born in Leeds, so I support Leeds. You you don't really have an option. If you walked around in a Manchester United shirt around Leeds City Centre, <laughs> yeah. it wouldn't be that's the dangerous. most sensible thing to do in the world, you know? Okay, yeah, so that's very dangerous. Leeds is your team. Yeah, I was born in a Nike city. Nike is my team. Okay, <laughs> I, and I get that, brother, and I get that. That's but... all it is to it. Just like this, <laughs> just like this, this team on my hat, and mm. every other hat I wear, that's my team. Just like this, this shirt that I wear. Yeah, Team yeah, Dungeon Fan. Yeah, yeah. What are those things? So the, the, these that's my side. I pick my side. I'm not going away from my side. It just so happened that the side I picked was the best side. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, this is something we can discuss. I mean, let's talk about that. Um when when did they start? Was it 1964, right? When they were blue mm-hmm. ribbon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When they stole ideas from everybody. Right? What? The, well, wait, wait, the, wait. The the first shoe they bought, the first shoe they brought to the American market, what was that? It was Onosuka Tiger, right? So they brought that in. Then they stole the design, put a tick on it or a check on it or whatever, you swoosh. And then uh, that's... Um... It's not whatever, it's swoosh. Don't you ever, ever <laughs> say whatever when you talk about we call it. We, we, call, we don't necessarily call it... I know it y'all say tick. 
I know y'all say T. I respect that, but, but it was but it was the Cor- it's not it was Cortez, right? So they they changed it to the Cortez. So they took off the uh, Asics logos and they stuck on the swoosh. So they were stealing designs before anyone else. And then they have the brass neck, as we say in the northern England. They have yeah. the cheek to go, oh, you were all stealing our ideas. Nah, you basically started as a company stealing ideas. No? On on a te- on the technicality, you, you 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 are right. You are you are right. Blue, I think blue the, ribbon, blue ribbon. They sure, they didn't come Nike until nineteen seventy one. So they've only been running right for officially like seventy three years. Right? Is is so, is really seventy three is, is, is when Nike started popping off with the waffle and all that? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. I, I think I think I think um, the I love that t- story. I love yeah. that story. The, the waffle story is amazing. Yeah. The fact that you, 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 like the mold from the waffle is basically it's, from a waffle iron, which which is amazing anyway. His, but his I, 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 yeah, <laughs> his wife. And, and, so I, I was. It was really, it's really fascinating because um, I think they still got that waffle wire in the Nike vault, yes. and they brought yeah. it out in one of their lives, which is amazing, which is yeah. so mm-hmm. amazing to see. But um, I think the court, uh, the Cortez is a classic silhouette anyway. But I think, I think they lean towards the waffle way more because they know if the, leaning toward the Cortez might come, re- come with that rep- um, reprimand of what you just said. It like, won't. Oh, that, that's just, it, it, won't, it bro. won't, but it's over because you was right. The Cortez is rolling out now. Yeah, yeah, the Midnight yeah. Navy uh, Cortez, dope. The Forrest Gump's coming back again, dope. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, 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 let me just mention the book one with the, the Cortez. Book one, Chloe. Oh, Gump. I told you. I, I I said to you yesterday that looks absolutely epic. It looks like it's been suited for that sneaker, and the way they cut the color transition that is beautiful. Guess what? I'm book. starting to see outside on feet. Book, book ones. <laughs> no, Cortez. Cortez. Yeah, but that's, that's we call them dope we, mans. Yeah, oh uh, yeah, yeah, because because of the LA connection. But right. um, we will talk about that further because that's a, that's one of the quick strikes we need to talk about. Um, but yeah, but like it is happening because the the, 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 the whole samba wave currently is is, and it's really funny because I, I noticed this a couple of weeks back. Uh, the samba wave is causing a lot of people to look for alternatives, which is quite interesting because yeah. a lot of people are looking for oh wh- what's the what's an alternative if you didn't want a samba, and they're looking at they're looking at Cortez and they're looking at other silhouettes, which is great. But N- Nike started off being running runners running sneakers anyway. Anyway, we know we know the fact that like and it, it's it's funny that because a lot of these new brands not new brand new balance is a runner asics is a runner solomon's is like a runner so all of these companies are starting off with where nike started off with which is running shoes and then they started evolving into different sports which is great because we know what nike did with michael jordan and we know what nike did with the nba which is epic and and that, that's 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 the, that's why I say that's the turning point in Nike's history is when they when they went full in like in, like in a casino and just went here you go I'm better put all my bets on Michael Jordan I yeah, want I want, I want Michael Jordan yeah the, the bastard did it for us and it's and it's almost it's wrong. almost like and it's almost like you're not you're not roulette and you just bet on the green and that's the only thing you can ever bet on because that will give you everything you need. But bro, Tinker, Tinker and Bowerman, and also um, what's the dude? The dude they 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 took a, a big shit on him in the movie. Um, oh, I'm the can't movie. His name now, not Howard, the other white guy. Yeah, yeah I know. Anyway, you mean. I know you mean. The, the 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 people back then that were able to. Um, Catapult the company. Guys like Tinker and Bill Bowerman. They they operate so shrewdly throughout the history of the industry. When you when you they they the bully, they the big bad bullies. Yeah, yeah. They they put their I- money where their mouth is, they bank on themselves, and I I think that's where some of these companies take L's is they don't bank on themselves. They don't go all in on certain things. Nike goes all in more than anybody else. Whether it works or not, they going all in. They went all in on the Scorpion. The Scorpion is horrible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But they made six, seven colorways and they thought we was going to give them $250. No, bro. 
They horrible. They trash. Stop. Mm-hmm. I tried. I tried. I tried. I can't do it. Take the wool from, from over everybody's eyes. The Scorpion is a horrible sneaker. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Preach. yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I, you know what? I lo- I, I'm going to be honest. I like the design aesthetics of it, of, of, of the concept of it, like the whole fact that it's designed of, of from scorpion. You turn the out, you turn to the outside. It looks like a scorpion. I like that, but it just it, for two, a vapor max is not as expensive as a scorpion. Yeah. And I know the des- I know the why the reason why it's so highly priced at this moment in time is because a lot of innovation design went behind it and, and to manufacture it, which is fine, but it doesn't they thought they could do something in the, in the street culture with that scorpion and it didn't work. It didn't work. No, and and uh, this is this is why uh, the, this is why I think we're going to go into it later on. The innovation side is is I think they tweaked the innovation side slightly to do something different to it. And we'll discuss it later. But I, this is why I think the DNs is a dope is, is a dope rendition, we're like in terms of what it's too. doing. We yeah. talk about but, that too. But but we we started off uh, with Ian. You mentioned in the sum like so how how was your um your beginning was it was it uh you being roped into adidas because of the football culture or no right are you ready for this are you ready for this because i'm gonna shock you now the thing the trainer that got me into sneakers was a nike and it was of course it was (laughs) i'm just gonna say the, and, the, and I'll tell you why, okay? But also, you, you have to understand, with the football culture, it wasn't just Adidas. It was Nike as well, in the back mm, in the day. Mm, back in the day. Mm, right. Was it now? Because I'm going bal- <laughs> to balance things out, Q. I'm not one of those haters, okay? I'm honest, <laughs> and I like all different things, okay? Okay. But I was. it was around 1979, 1980, and there weren't all the foot lockers and all this kind of thing. They were just mum and pop stores attached to, say, a supermarket or like a shopping area or whatever. And I went in with my mum and there was these ones on sale and they were bright blue with a yellow swoosh. And I saw them and I was, I think I've, I've tried to do research and I think the only one that it could possibly be is actually called Nike Elite OG. And it was around 1980. Um, and it was a, the beautiful blue with the bright yellow swoosh, and it had, on the um, bed it had a blue and then a white and then a, and then the tra- a trap, and they were on super sale. I, I think they were like twenty pounds or something <laughs> like that at sale. the time. You know, like one yeah, size yeah. left, no nothing left, uh, but it happened to be my size, and I rocked into school with them on, and people were going. Yeah, there you go. That that's it. There you go. Oh, um, beautiful. There's and, a black and red colorway too, which is also dope. Yeah, I mean, they're just a suit. There it is. Look at it. Look at that. It's just a beautiful design. They, they tried it with the waffle too recently, but nothing yeah. is that shape. That shape's is better. It's a better, slimmer side view. Um, and I went into school, and people were like, ah, oh, check out it, and that feeling. That, Ooh. You, that, oh. that, that still gets me at 52 if somebody's yeah. like yeah and, got and, balls right now for and, you. It, <laughs> and it caught and it caught me and it caught me and then that was it I was like yeah yeah then I wanted them and I wanted them and obviously I have to explain it's, it's crazy. a Yorkshireman right they, they have a joke about a Yorkshireman and a Scotsman being so tight that copper wire was invented by a Scotsman and a Yorkshireman fighting over a penny and they made copper wire <laughs> so my, my dad was not having any of it you know he was he was like i want a pound for a pound's worth and he would not yeah buy. i was like no, i want I, these i want these and my dad was like nah and i was like stuck in plimsolls i don't even i mean you you might remember him tj plimsolls yeah, um, yeah 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 uh, it, they, it, it, 
I I, I I had to say I had to say, uh, my family uh, even though I was brought up in the eighties like we moved I moved from East Africa when I was uh, four years old probably like eighty six so when I when I moved when I moved over because my family wasn't really like rich or, or couldn't afford same same model you you get what you basically stretch the pound as much as possible and uh, this is what, what this is why you wear you I'll have once once you once you a year but a gym gym shoes used to be plimp soles and all that stuff because that's what you could afford and that 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 used to yeah. be what you used to have so i remember plimp soles quite well and um yeah <laughs> supermarket black canvas yeah with elasticated little bit in the middle that's the one like that's the one absolute dweeb it was horrendous <laughs> and my dad was like i'm not spending i'm not spending 30 pound on a pair of shoes yeah. i'm not having you know i was like oh, plimp soles were like what a fiver or even yeah, you're not about, even that yeah you could yeah, buy yeah. Them in a, you could buy them in a gas station. They'd be gas station trainers. <laughs> you know, so I was like... Tinkerbell, Tinkerbell plimp, plimp souls. No! <laughs> yeah. No! Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. oh, bro. So, yeah, they were. So, that, so, I mean, so that was kind of like where my love, like that that feeling of just everyone just going, wow. And I was like, I'm, I was addicted to that. But it, so then I was in trouble until I got to... I was about 12 or 13 and I was in a shop and I wanted these gazelles because by then the casual culture had really started and hit the more mm. sort of the, the big lads were wearing the suede flat shoes and I'd seen them and I wanted them and I, and I saw the gazelles and I wanted them and my dad was like, no, nah, you're not having them. you got like 15 quid or you're not having anything. So he mm. says, if you want them, you get a job. So I basically just walked out of my house that moment, walked up. <laughs> Got myself a job cleaning in a bakery when I was about hey. barely 13. Hey. And I bought my first pair of uh, Adidas Gazelle in a, like a turquoise colour. Round 85, I'd say. Uh, mm. And then that was it. Then I was earning money. I, I was a stupid boy. I went into a bakery. What, what did I expect? Three o'clock starts, you know. But... Mm-hmm. I, I was uh, I was the little Saturday boy that went in there and cleaned all the equipment and stuff, and I got my one pound an hour or whatever it was. And uh, yeah, well, eventually, motto, motto, just motto of the day, motto of the day today is it, don't complain, do something about it, and that's the motto of the day. Don't complain if, you, if right. something's wrong, do something about it. Find solutions. Don't yeah. complain and don't uh, argue. Just find solutions. Oh, listen, don't worry, I complained, but my dad wasn't <laughs> listening. So. <laughs> Yeah. I was like, I was okay, like, complain a bit, but do something was, about it. I was well complaining, but my dad was just not listening to me at all. He was like, nah, they're, they're, exa- they're exactly the same. And he'd show me one, and it was like, no, they're not. They'd be like, there was, there was Mitre, Patrick, uh, Umbro, Dun- yeah, Umbro, Dunlop, <laughs> the Dunlop Green Flash. I've seen you know Dun- you took- Dunlop made tires, bro. Yes, yeah, exactly. Dun- 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 Dunlop was Dunlop was a tennis sneaker here, right? Everybody exactly. like Dunlop. No, you, Dunlop is you a tire tennis. in the US, bro. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, mean, I know that, I and there's still it. there's still ties here. But the Dun- same Dunlop's, one. yeah, Dunlop Dunlop's used to do green flash. Yeah, bro, they, when they I saw do, Dunlop, the first sneakers. time I saw Dunlop sneakers, I could not believe it. Though. I'm like, what <laughs> is going on here? This, this oh, but, by the way, this can't be how the world works. By the way, remember. Remember when um, Umbra was sponsoring uh, the England t- England t shirt, England England uh, like full get up top top bottom sneakers, all of that stuff, bro. That was a big thing. That was a big thing in the nineties. Umbra was a huge thing in the nineties. Bro, um, Umbra was soccer exclusive for us. If you didn't play soccer or have on a soccer uh, kit, ain't no Umbra. You go to go to school with Umbra shoes on if you want to. Go ahead. <laughs> Hey, listen, oh, yeah. listen, Q, listen, Q, we, su- we suffered the same way, Q, but my yeah, dad yeah, was, yeah. didn't care. He just didn't care. He was like... You think my mama cared? No, for sure not. <laughs> my mama didn't give a dick. Bro, I oh, said this but, before. Uh, I, I, had a com- I had a conversation with my mom. I went to her house and I had on fire red fives. And I told her, I said, this, this shoe that I have on right now, I have it now because I couldn't get it as a kid. And she goes to... Well, if I would have known, all right, lady. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. You, you, you should have finished the sentences. If you, you would have known, you, you still wouldn't no have cared. <laughs> yeah, you, you, no. you wouldn't have given me 125 again. No, no, no. no. You, you no, was no, not no, going to no. pay $125 for them shoes. You, you know what? I, I like uh, this conversation is very relatable because we had this conversation with that dark horse and Daniel. Shout out to Daniel because we mm-hmm. had this conversation with Daniel as well. And what you don't real what what you don't realize is uh, we've been brought up all for, like that, it's not even about ethnicity or where you come from. We've been brought up with parents that were very strict on on spending, and uh, you have to be really really um, uh, abiding by their guidelines because if they couldn't afford it, they couldn't afford it, and even they will then. give you what they want. Yeah, even, even then, then, even then, they still wouldn't. Yeah. Do it. Bro, yeah, like, they got money in 1990, you. in 1990, I was eight, dog. I was still a good kid there. Like, I didn't, I didn't go outside till I was like 12, 13 is when I, when I finally jumped off the porch, cutting school and smoking and all that, you know, rapping, trying to, you know, really be in, in the streets and learning what the street culture is really about. Cause I didn't, my family, my family is from the projects, but I only had one uncle that was in the streets and he ended up being a, a, a crackhead. So, I mean, R.I.P. Shout out my uncle Blade. They call him Blade because uh, they say he used to be so sharp back in the day. He was sharper than a razor blade. Okay, that's interesting. Super cool name, nah. super <laughs> yeah, cool. super cool. So, so but, everybody by the way, called him Blade. He used to run around but, with my uncle Keith, who just passed. But, uh, but yeah, by man. the way, Blade, if you ever watch, if you ever, if you ever watch Snowfall. I don't know if you guys have watched Snowfall before. It's it, that that crack, that covers a crack epidemic epidemic in LA, which is which is awesome. It's worth watching. I bro, I watched that. Um, I finished that the other day. It was heart wrenching at the end. I'm not even joking. It got to me massively. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, way yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. you've yeah. seen it, haven't you, bro? Yeah, I didn't. I, I, I didn't I watch could, the show, but I saw what happened to the. To yeah, the but, but the thing is, because I because I live with the sh- I live with the show over three months, and that's the worst thing because you don't you don't get to live with it every year. You get to live with it in a short period of time, and that's it's like a it movie. Is, yeah, Bro, my dad, my dad. When I when I meet people that knew my dad, they always tell me about how fresh he used to be and how talented he was and how smart he was. I knew my dad as a crackhead. No. So how do all these people have all this positive stuff to say about what? Because that was pre eighty four, pre eighty five. Yeah. After eighty five, I was born in eighty two. By eighty five, my dad was already pretty much gone. You know what I mean? He walked yeah. out. My mom told me, "My dad, I'm serious in that out, but hell, I'm here now." My dad, <laughs> my, my my mom told me. She gave my dad an ultimatum on Thanksgiving Day, 1985. Either you go hang out with your dudes or you stay here and have Thanksgiving dinner with your family. And he thought it was a game. So he left out that door and he had no way back in now. You know what I mean? Like, nah, it's a wrap, bro. Yeah, the, the oh, right. life is, bro. When when we watch these documentaries and when we watch these series and movies and stuff like that, you don't realize it actually really did affect people massively like that. And it's only when you reaccount people's um th- like stories, it's really heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking as well, like really, really. And that that, that obviously, if you watch Snowfall, it covers uh through Free Ray Ricky Ross, which is a legitimate guy, not the rapper, well, it's it's a started, legitimate guy. It started yeah. about his story, but it's yeah. it's funny. Out of respect, I feel like out of respect for, because he, he tried to sue them and everything. I don't know what happened with that, but it started off being his story, but he yeah. wasn't a part of it. No. So due to, uh, out of respect for him, they spun it into just a story, a random story. Yeah, but the main the main character in that is awesome. He's British, by the way, and I didn't realize. Uh, uh, Freeway, Freeway Ricky Ross, the real Ricky Ross. Is not a crackhead. <laughs> no, 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 no. But the thing He's is, doing the, the, very the, well the, for himself these days. Yeah, uh, but but the the main but the main antagonist in that he is he isn't a crackhead either. He he he's not he he becomes a drunk he becomes a drunk. I'm not gonna spoil it, but he's not. He doesn't touch anything illegal. Like, but he's great great watch. Go and watch it if you can. But yeah, yeah. back to the story, bro. Back to the back to, back anyway, to anyway. the story. No, nah, I, I wanted I wanted to uh, I wanted to show y'all. Some of the some of the boots that we had to deal with. It was this one brand XJ nine hundred. 
that was in all the the bootleg stores. Paid no mind to the actual Jordan picture over here, but like LA Gears, uh, British Nikes. I have I have uh, some British Nikes. There you go. BKs were cool for a little while in the U.S., just like LA Gears were, but that's like kid yeah. stuff. That's like elementary. That's right. You know, if you're in elementary, you can wear British Nikes, uh, Deodoras, and and uh, Elise. Y'all, y'all know Elise. Oh yeah, 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 Italian. Yeah, yeah. It's Italian design. Right, all that stuff, LA Gears and all them. LA Gear was like the light up shoe company. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. They made shoes with lights in them and all the fake air bubbles and whatnot. But <laughs> yeah, we we <laughs> we all we all I think we all had the same experience with parents that they my mom was not uh fashionable in that way. I I, I think a cop so to sleep, if I'm honest. I think I copped a plea because I the school I went to was more of a, I would say ethnic school because basically a lot a lot of a lot of immigrants that came into the country actually ended up going to that school so I didn't ex- experience the same thing and we had school uniforms so it kind of neutralized right? yeah yeah it kind of neutralized anything to that was to do with like like wearing whatever you wanted to wear so it became like black shoes black black, black trousers black blazers all that stuff so it became more mm-hmm. of a I more hear, of a like, I hear, I hear it. <laughs> it became more of a it cheers. <laughs> it became more. It became more of a like. It became more neutralized, where not a lot of people would wear what they wanted to wear because it became more like, oh, you gotta wear this because it's the school school uniform. So we we kind of copped the plea that and that way. I mean, when we did have non school non school uniform days, it was just like one day in every like so often every every semester, and then you could just wear what you wanted to wear. But yeah, I was lucky in that in that retrospect because we didn't have yeah. that same culture. Let's see, we we didn't get uniforms until. Um I was a senior and the next year they were going to start making the students wear uniforms. My yeah. whole school life was a fashion show. I'm it's trying to weird. tell you from middle school, from sixth grade to 12th grade, every day was a fashion show. See, we didn't have that. We had, we were in uniform, but yeah. um, it was still a fashion show because with the casual cult, the football culture, the clothes and fashions that people were wearing, the the whole reason it got smarter was to avoid police detection. Uh, mm-hmm. Originally, um, originally, Martin broke this down for us too. Go yeah. ahead. Originally, it was they 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 were in sort of Doc Martins and bother boys because they were out fighting, but then they had trouble with the police because they were easily identifiable. So what they did was they started dressing in a, a more, like they call it, sort of quiet luxury way now where they were uh, wearing a uh, feeler, um, a less uh, Sergio Tacchini, things like that, like the more... Um, wait, 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 what's the their last the brand? Tennis? Sergio Tacchini. I heard I, it. I don't know. Yeah, yeah I heard uh, it before as well. They, with the, with, they were wearing, they were like tennis stuff. Uh, and so they'd wear that and they wouldn't have a short haircut. They used to have quite long hair in like a, you know, quite long Bob coming or... down just below their eyebrows. Yeah. Um, I used to have hair. Like so Jenny. I used, to, I used to do the same. But unfortunately, <laughs> like not so much now. <laughs> exactly. It looked like a Lego. Um, a bowl. And so, yeah, they wore that to get away from being nabbed by the police all the time. Uh, so the style was... Um, You'd wear older people's clothes, like for example, there's a golf, uh, there's a golf brand called Pringle, and we used to wear Pringle sweaters. They had like diamonds oh, yeah, on them. Yeah. They were proper old. They were only worn by golfers, uh, and then we started wearing them. So also there was a there's a French shoe brand called Kicker, uh, and you can buy still I remember buy Kickers, Kickers now. Yeah, um, I remember Kickers. So what we'd do is we'd wear like a Pringle jumper with a pair of Farrers trousers and kicker shoes so even though we were in uniform you were still kind of flexing mm. yeah i think i think, I think that I, I think when reebok classics came about and that the, the all black reebok classics was popular with with the people that could afford it because it was still an all black sneaker or an all black shoe that you could wear to, yeah exactly you can see, get away reeboks, with it. reeboks were like um the minimum for us reeboks k-swiss 
um, Eastland. Y'all, y'all got Eastland over there, like the the, the boot mm. company. Not a no. bro. I remember, and and I hope I hope I got some. Uh, I hope I got some Atlanta people, some Georgia people watching. I know I do, but I know I got some uh, some U.S. people that's gonna remember Eastland, especially uh, people from probably up north. Yo, Eastland came through when um, the Timberland Constructs was was ruling the world. And Eastland came through with these boots. And for some reason, hold on, not Sperry's, not all these other companies, in my opinion, been trying to catch up with Eastland. One, here we go. The Eastlands with the buckle. Ooh. That shit Man, is Because they're kind of the like lows. a Timberland boat shoe, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, but it's a whole boot with the, with a shoe kind of vibe to it. You know what I'm saying? Look, bro, look at this, bro. Look at mm. that, bro. That is so hard. Because we was doing khakis, duck head. Um, so we, so we started doing sweater vests, like the whole preppy style. There Polos, uh, dad hats. We yeah. was doing uh, skippers. Bro. We went through so many phases in Atlanta with styles, dog. Like Cartier glasses, Versace glasses with clear frames. Ain't no medication in them shades, dog. They not shades, though. They glasses. <laughs> Dudes would walk around with clear frame Cartiers, clear frame Versace glasses with a polo sweater vest and some polo skippers and khakis like they finna go yachting. <laughs> It, but they got, but they got a pocket full of stones. But it's, that's very similar. <laughs> so you're doing similar kind of. It, this is what I mean. Yeah. And this is what's cool about this kind of uh, community is already we're finding similarities between each other rather than differences, and that's kind of what yeah. it's about, isn't it? You know, like yeah. we were doing the same. We were dressing up as like preppy or our version of preppy. You know, mm-hmm. uh, for different reasons, but. For the same reason, kind of thing. Similar well, reason, you know? yeah. Yeah, you just yeah, yeah. Wanted, you, did, you wanted to kind of go undercover on like, you know. See yeah, but, but the thing is, it, it was always about being fresh and clean. It's always about being like, oh, you, you know. Fresh. Yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't matter what brand, as long as you bring it, that's the most important thing. It, it, you could, we could wear any brand, but as long as you have confidence and you're fresh and clean with it, that's all that matters. Hey, PLC said it best, bro. It don't matter what kind of music you make, as long as it's jamming. Yeah, Q, Q said it best. You, the shoes don't make you cool. You make the shoes cool. Make the sho- exactly, see? exactly oh, that. Listen. Exactly that. <laughs> no, we, we know that now. We know we, we, we know see that, that when you go outside. Some some people you be like, yeah, bro. I saw some people. I see people all the time. I saw some folks yesterday. I seen some Chicago's. I seen some. Uh, I seen some 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 Carmines. I seen some. I saw a lot of Sambas. I saw uh, some Five Fifties. Uh, like I said, I saw some dope mans, and I'm looking at some of the stuff like eh, you should have put on some different pants, or uh, that that jacket ain't it ain't hidden right, or you know I do I do that for, I don't I try not to judge people, but we do that because because I tend to make shoe contact before I make eye contact. Yeah, yeah. So I, I'm I, going I, from I, the feet up, like I do for myself when we put our when I put fit, fits together. It's depending on two things, the hat and the shoes. You see, this this is exactly right. And this is the problem that I have, that you won't have Q. It's because you, you're in a lane. You've got a certain lane for your shoes. I'm all over the place. So I need outfits for different shoes. Like yeah. some, of, some of my Terry shoes. I can't wear them with the baggy stuff. But then the runners that I wear... I wear baggies with them, you know. Have, have you have you ever so cross branded? Have you I ever never cross branded? No, I never cross branded. Right. Never doing that. Okay. I'm sorry. Proud of applause. No. no never. <laughs> all, y'all, all y'all, all y'all, all y'all out there cross branding. My wife told y'all weeks ago, it's dumbass behavior. Stop it. It's <laughs> not good for the community. Correct. Your wife we is will correct. Not, we will not claim y'all. Okay. None of us claim y'all. <laughs> no, no. So, so what? What drew you to? Uh, for because you started off with uh, liking the Nike Elite. So, what? What drew you tr- back to like Adidas? Not back to Adidas. What drew you I th- to Adidas? I think, I think if I'm honest, it was my environment. You know, I was around 
uh, the old, the big Hooligans. lads. Did, well, I knew them. I wasn't one. <laughs> but, uh, you were. Sure, you weren't. <laughs> no, no, no. I was. I, I was. He was not a hooligan, y'all. No, he was not. No, <laughs> hooligan behavior. No, no, no. But I can't you were to Jason. those boys. I was hooliganing Jason. I like that. <laughs> but I used to. I used to see the big lads wearing stuff, and then obviously I wanted to imitate what the big lads were wearing. Mm-hmm. They were going off to the football, and then at that time, the there were more and more styles of the Adidas shoes coming through because of um, the the northern football teams travelling around Europe. They would travel around Europe, and they'd s- steal everything because mm. over there the didn't have the security on the you know high end shops so that's where all the feeler came in that's where the stone island came that's where the cp company came and that's where all of the different adidas came in and back how then, old is stone was, island stone Come. island 70s is it yeah, yeah. 70s maybe, wow. something like that. i'm okay. not a i'm not a stone island uh, aficionado at all but um they they because I couldn't afford that. But the, they they were stealing it, bringing it over, and then they'd wear it, and then they'd wear it for a little bit, Because, and I'm sure the same for you guys, because we're of a similar age. You wanted to be different. You didn't want to be the same. Now no. these Mm-mm. people all wearing the same Travis Scott's or whatever, I just don't... It doesn't compute to me, and I think that is probably why I've got the trainer collection I have, is because mm. I don't want... I don't want to look the same as everybody else. I want to have something a little bit different. I suppose that's why I've got quite a lot of collabs because at least then nine times out of 10, unless you go into a sneaker event, you're not going to like bump into somebody wearing the same stuff. I, mean, I, I, I think, I think that's just the same. That's just, a lot of people right now are do are moving the same way because uh, unfortunately it means that everybody's going to wear, everybody's, everybody's going to have collabs, but a lot of people are moving more technically to get collaborations or special sneakers or like like this is, I, honestly i loved it i love the soft light eights i love it to bits and i love I'm, and my love for the eights is growing massively but i got that because uh not not because you couldn't get it here but i got that because you couldn't get it here and yeah, that, that's and, and it means it means if i do it, rock it you wouldn't have cared. you wouldn't have cared. Cared. I wouldn't, if offspring I wouldn't had it if if offspring had I would have got pairs, I would have got it still. You, you still you wouldn't care. It, it don't yeah, don't try to cared. don't try to put your love for the, for eights on exclusivity. You fell in no, love no, no. with eights with the Rui because of the design. You didn't yeah, know yeah. eights. I know your, your come on, bro. Don't do this. Don't make me expose <laughs> I, you. I, I, my, my love for eights grew massively over the last dog. couple of years. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, but but it, it it means it means that you can just like right this moment in time. Um, that I, d- d- there's others like the awake. Uh, even, like, if I love a sneaker, I always go for a sneaker. Like, that's that's no dead given. I will always go for something I love. Um, but if it's it makes it a bit more special when you can't. It's very hard to get as well. Now this is why we some some of us still love that exclusivity because we 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 desire something that nobody else has got. Exclusivity will always play a factor, bro. Like yeah, I said, yeah. I got I got sneaker event tux. See what I'm saying? I got I got stuff, and some of this stuff, like my Sashiko fours, I already know I could pull them out any day, and crack everybody in the building. Everybody, cause that shoe didn't drop in the U.S. Yeah. I've seen yeah, it on yeah. foot once. Other than my pair, I've seen it once, and I saw I walked straight up to him. I was at work. I was in work. My work uniform, clothes. You know, I ain't. I'm not. 808 kicks. This is cute. This work cute right here. I did nah, bro. Listen. I say, uh, where you got them from? I, I kind of tried it. I said, where you got them from? Overseas, right? He said, yeah. <laughs> I gave him, I gave him, I gave him an in. I gave him an easy in. I said, what's though? Uh, what's the, the, the one with the, the B to the, Gotcha. Same place I got mine from. Yes, I said, <laughs> same place I got mine from. I said, I done wore him like two, three times. This dude, this was a tattoo artist. He was standing outside of the tattoo shop smoking a cigarette. And I I just had to, bro. I had Because I made sneaker contact. So I had to go have... Yo, yesterday, I saw a guy 
with Bolt Harachi 2K foes on. Ooh. Bruh. I promise you. And it, he was so tacky. Shout out to bro. We followed each other on IG. His outfit didn't have nothing to do with the shoe, dog. I mean, <laughs> he had on like a t- like a tan, like with some bright green and black uh, 2K. He walked past me and I couldn't take my eyes off his shoes. I said, what, what is going on? What is going on right here? <laughs> two Ks, bro. And you don't see two Ks every day. And that that goes back to what you said, Ian, about um, you know, you want to be that ex- you want to be exclusive, and all of a sudden, you like that admiration of like when somebody looks at your sneakers, and, oh damn, they look nice. That that we, I think, I think core our core essence is is drive by that. It's like the the, the needing for self validation is a massive drive for us. Yo, bro, they look dope. <laughs> hey. That's dope. Like, That's out I there had, as well. That's very out there. I had never, I had never seen these in real life. Seen pictures, but the man walked past me with them all. I had to go talk to him, bro. and he was ready <laughs> to talk. I had to, like, I had to walk away from him because his girl was standing there waiting on us to, to stop. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, my, it, wife, it, my wife would say the same thing. You, I yeah. get the same. My poor wife. <laughs> Uh, oh you, you know, you know, the, the only person I've actually seen do that is Dell. Shout out to Dell because every time he sees a great sneaker, he always stops the person and has a conversation with him. I said, and the, you know what? Like I said, the core, our core essence is to find that admiration and to feel validated. And I think that validation is a lot of co- a lot of sneakers will admit it, but that's just our core essence is to get that validation from what we rock and what we fit. Because we, uh, let's be honest, a lot of a lot, a lot of our sneakerheads put a lot of effort into what we get, what we fit, how we fit it, how we look. And when, when somebody compliments you out there, it's like, yeah, I feel like I've done something right. And that validation is a massive, massive part of being a sneakerhead, I reckon. You know what, though? I'm, I'm going to semi-agree with you. I have, I have to feel, I have to feel like it first before I let anybody else see it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, it has, it has to be, it has to hit me right here in the middle. For, for and me that's where the like, effort comes right, in. I need now. I need people to see this. <laughs> yeah, but that's, I need, that's I need where people to understand how I put it on. I, yeah, but that's it's where all the effort comes in. It's, 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 yeah. I think it's projecting. I'm projecting my my vibe out on everybody yeah, else. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So if I don't feel right about the vibe before I even step out the door, it's been times, bro. I turn the alarm on, get in the car, and everything, and be like, no. Nah. I don't feel right and it goes it goes back to your comment you, it's, it's the way you fit in the way you rock it if you feel confident in it and like this is why with like i said you, you you when you have that fit when you have like i want to build i want to put this this and this and this together because i don't feel good i want to rock it and then when you get that validation it's like a yep check in the box like yeah i did something good but that, that's where all the effort comes in because like as a sneakerhead you don't we just don't buy sneakers and you, you're going to probably agree with this we buy the fits to go with it we buy the the stuff that goes with it. like some people go to some people go to the extremes where they actually put like socks on to match their sneaks to match their joggers to match their hoodies or or, or like i'm picking up varsity jackets to match my sneakers that always that's a massive effort and then when you put that effort in there you go with the socks as well but but when you when you when you put oh, come on, I, i'm not going to show my socks today i haven't got proper socks on but when you when you put a when you put an effort in when you put that effort in, it's really nice to see when people appreciate that because you put so much effort into your fit. But like, like going back to your story because we keep we keep dodging the story. Yeah, yeah, going yeah. back to the story about <laughs> the people like going abroad for the soccer matches, coming back with the stolen goods. Um, like that, that's where the uniqueness comes from. So like that, that did that draw you back into like the whole Adidas? I mean, I mean that from then it was like that. It was all Adidas. I mean, that's that, it comes from the football, the soccer. Um, the casual uh, fashion, and that that was sort of the eighties. You know, uh, the it wasn't just the flat suede; it was the tennis shoes as well. Um, we were more kind of the Ivan Lendl guy. There's a there's a um, one of my favourite shoes of all time is a Lendl Pro Adidas Lendl Pro. Um, mm. 
they're, they're a grail. And the reason they're a grail is because it is literally impossible to get that shoe now. Because it, uh, the, the um, midsole has just gone to powder. They haven't reissued it at all, ever. Uh, they have had one similar to it called like the Tennis Royal and stuff like that, but generally they they haven't reissued it. And I had one, I had a pair of those back in sort of like the late eighties. Um, but then it, but then once you start getting into the Adidas side of things, or a lot of people now, there you go, there you go. I know it's I like that. I don't. It probably yeah, doesn't look know. much to you guys, but this Bro, this, think- shoe, this shoe is just sex. This is what I'm talking about. Ian. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Why? Why aren't they doing this? I don't Tell know. me why. I don't. I honestly don't know. It, I've, I've, this is what they need to do. I've contacted them. I've even contacted them. Sent <laughs> DMs. There's the uh, guy. The guy called Gary Aspen. He does the Special range. Uh, that's probably the closest that you'll come to sort of a, a, a capsule release. They do two capsule releases a year, and that's very much of the sort of the casual style, um, where they'll go back into the archives and then they'll slightly tweak something for modern day with modern day uh, um, technology maybe in it, or they can't do exactly the same because that um, last has been lost. Uh, and I've I've sent him this. I've like, please do the Lendl Pro, please do it because I'd love it. Uh, Bro, they yeah. they they too they too inclusive, dog. Mm. They 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 are way too inclusive on on things that the culture wants. Like they they can't they can't keep doing this, bro. They need, they need like, to jump T- out of the box. TJ, they, they, need to, they need to jump out of the box. Hundred percent. They need to kind TJ. of like what wouldn't God? Look look at this. Yeah. Why? Why? Yeah. Why? Why is this aftermarket? This, come on, bro. There, right, there look, is look one. At- they have released one of these. In fact, the one you're highlighting, they've released that. That was part of the Spetsials. Yeah, the Tennis Super. That's the one I was mentioning before. They did release that. I think it was maybe eight years ago now, maybe seven years ago. Yeah. And you, you know, you know, when I keep mentioning, they have like we keep mentioning, they haven't got the silhouettes. Um, they haven't got the silhouettes. They have. It's, They've got it's the just biggest the fact archive. That they They've got the biggest yeah. archive. Biggest and and way bigger and the than thing is Nike or anyone. Yeah, exactly. But what 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 we mean by that is, and just to re- rectify that, they haven't got the biggest <laughs> archive. They haven't got the biggest. Not way um, no, way the, bigger. <laughs> and when we when we mention that it's not it's not because we, it's not because um, we don't see it that's the that's what I'm trying to get at. we don't see that we see we see the fact that they they what they're releasing all we see is campus campus gazelles and then um and what do you call it um, and sambas and spend sambas and specials give us something different like I did, did, like don't nmd the 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 <laughs> silhouettes you've got already, and this yeah. is what it is, and this is what I'm afraid of, and we'll discuss later. But this is what it is at this moment in time. You need to give the, the public something different. You can't keep giving them the same thing because you'll get tired of it. Do you know? Do you know one of Adidas's biggest issues with this situation is that unlike Nike, who've always kind of had everything under one umbrella, in the back in the back in the day with the with the Adidas, they used to license to other countries. So they had like a license uh, to Argentina, and then they'd make specials only that for the Argentinian market. And uh, there was say like in France, they did the same, and they did they they did it in all the different countries around the world. And the problem is, a lot of those archive pieces that are, I'd love to see again, uh, they can't redo. Because, like I said, the last has been lost, or yeah, it, was, yeah. uh, it had the intellectual property only in Argentina or in Japan or wherever, and so they've lost a lot of their their product from that. But I totally agree with you. Like, it frustrates me because I really have a love for Adidas, um, and I think a lot of that, to be honest with you, was also due to due to the community. Um, mm-hmm. Prior, I have always bought different trainers. I like I bought. I bought a pair of uh, Bape in 2006 in Japan. Um, I've bought Nikes throughout as well and, you know, this kind of thing. So I do 
and and even more so now I do use go th- all brands but yep um, that's that's dope that's dope very yeah, dope that's, I that's, remember uh, that yeah that's Lendl there that's yeah, um, but, but but remember, but remember, like what what the thing the difference is. Like, I would say Nike's marketing is is top tier. Like Nike Nike's marketing is absolutely top tier. They're but the thing company. the thing that's what they do. Yeah, ex- right? exactly. And they and they, and they're perfect. They're very perfect at it. The the the, the fact that they we're gonna get well, obviously it looks like we're gonna get the um, yeah, tech challenge two back with the Agassiz which that which I'm looking forward to. Um, and they like even when you go back a couple of years. When they did the uh, the passport the SB dunks, and they brought that uh, to the hot dude because it, the passport SB dunks was all about the union ones. I'm talking about when they when yeah. when they went when they went and said, "Oh, cool! I'm gonna bring all of those passports back into and bring it back into like uh, giving it globally because it was that was a regional and that that the the, the, the 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 it was basically because it was regional they brought it back together and sent it to, uh, to the whole whole globe and said this is what we're doing this i know this was limited back in the day but we're going to do this this is what something that adidas should be doing they could do i don't disagree with you it frustrates me because i really do have a love for the brand i like i like the stories behind it i like the fact that like the three stripes themselves were bought oh this is like whether it's uh folklore or not but i've heard this from numerous sources that uh, the three stripes was bought off the brand Carhu in nineteen fifty three. Yeah, I've heard that too. Fifteen hundred dollars and two bottles of whiskey. I just love I heard that. that too. I yeah. heard that too. I heard that too. But then it, uh, it right, had cool. a function, right? It had a function to hold the foot in. That's what the three stripe was for. Was but what y'all gonna do now? Because because <laughs> we coming we coming for that market too now. Yeah, you know, yeah. The field, the field general is, is the field this, general. This black and, and this black and white field general is about to move around. It's gonna move around. It's simple. It's black and white. It's the same style. I'm pretty sure it's more comfortable than Ensemble. I'm pretty sure. Absolutely, I'm absolutely positive. It's is more comfortable than Ensemble. I'm gonna just it's, say it's, that. It's, it's <laughs> it's Samba's from 1950, though. It's, you're just copying, aren't you? Yeah, you know? <laughs> but the, the, the thing the thing is um the the, the like we've seen we've seen oh, the return my, my of the bad movie. my bad the bo- the body astro grab is coming too. <laughs> I quite like that, you know. Yeah, I know you do. I quite like I know. that. So everybody I, like everybody likes what we do. It's, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. But we coming for that but, market too, and we gonna get it. But but best. also like yeah, they, they, they bought back. They brought back a couple of like Nike's bringing back a lot of stuff recently, which is which is which is awesome. Um, so you you was probably around for the Nike. You got you is that a waffle? You I've seen your hands. No, this is what brought me back to the swoosh. Oh, <laughs> Pegasus eighty three Amiga Flame, not released and. Till 2020 was the first time after 1983. Oh, on that, on that, Ian. Um, cool. How did you feel? How, how did you it feel? Because it, it was a. Ma- yeah. <laughs> I'll lick it. Later. Later. I'll lick it. Later. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not the song. Wait a minute. Just, just wait the a minute. Not, not, Pause. Not the song, no, song. Just the upper. <laughs> no, did he? <laughs> I let I let you get away with way bigger. I should have oh, I should have paused you on that. <laughs> I should have paused you on way bigger, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm gonna lick it later. No diddy. All right. No diddy. <laughs> um, uh, but ba- basically, um, so you saw you saw that you saw the Nike. Um, I think in the nineties, early nineties, we saw this massive wave of Nikes, um, Air Maxes, all of that stuff. Kind of especially with the Air Max one coming through, we saw that massive wave come through in the late eighties and early nineties. How did that affect your pickups? Because you, at, at to that point, I, I reckon you was picking up Adidas. Is I'm just saying, but speculating. Yeah, I mean, it, but... generally, it was mostly uh, Adidas jeans, especially. I really like those. They were the, like one of the first Adidas trainers that was weren't specifically made for a sport. Like all of the others, the, the ones that have come before, they were all rooted in a very niche sport in a lot of ways. Like the handball mm. was for handball. There was like the samba was a track shoe. Um, so, and then it, then it was a football, uh, like a football shoe as well. Um, and the gazelle, 
the indoor gazelle, uh, the, but the jeans were specifically made to stand on the terraces while wearing jeans. Uh, yeah. there's, the, there's a Mark One, there's a Mark Two, uh, but the Mark One is my particular favourite, and I wore, I've, I've had numerous, numerous pairs of that. Probably, I don't know, ten pairs at least of the uh, Adidas jeans. R- great, beautiful, almost like a kind of runner flat suede hybrid. Super beautiful. So, so, so in 1987, Tinker, or yeah. 1986, the big bubble. Yeah. And the 97, 1987, the Tinker Hatfield yeah. Air Max One comes in. And my dad what, how- said no. My dad <laughs> said no. That's what happened. You have to understand the Air Max One was an expensive shoe. Yeah, yeah. Spe- yeah. A, a, and still is in comparison to, say, like a Samba or a Gazelle. You know, yeah, yeah. you can still buy a Samba or a Gazelle for like a hundred bucks, right? Uh, but the the other stuff back then, you, I just I just couldn't afford it. I didn't start the first Air Max I had was a ninety five in ninety five. I had the Neon. Yeah, they're the Mark Twos that you've got up there. The Mark One is slightly different. It hasn't got the uh, shoe bumper on the front. Okay. Yeah. Um, so one, so, so how, how, how did it change? <laughs> How did it, how did it change um, the culture within the, the st- like the streets in the schools? So that that's the most like because I wasn't a, I, I was young I was a young baby I, I wouldn't even have known anything that, that in that age. But like how like what changes do you see physically in in the street like in the streets and in the schools and and because Nike had come out with the Air Max One. The rich kids had the Nikes. That's what that's what came out, especially you know at our school. It was the kids who had a bit more money and uh, were allowed to have that more kind of money spent on them, you know. Uh, but the the north south divide is quite strong with this, you know. Like if you if you go to different cities around the UK, you're going to have different sort of shoes that were super important to that youth at that time when you're coming up north when you're talking about the london uh, the manchesters the leeds the liverpools um in general uh, certainly for that sort of time period it was tennis shoes and it was flat suede shoes um more tennis shoes to be honest than flat suede were later uh, yeah. There were more tennis shoes that were being worn at that time, white tennis shoes, you know. Um, we didn't have the options available to us that you do now. We had nowhere near that choice, you know. Okay, so when, when you're saying tennis shoes, are you being sports specific or are you being general yeah. when you say tennis? Yeah. yeah, so I'm talking like the Lendl Pro that I showed you earlier or, right. or, a, Stan, or a Stan Smith or... Yeah. Uh, uh, Nasty, nasty, nasty. Anyway, another. Yeah. So in, in the U.S. in the U.S. in the '90s, tennis shoes was a general term. Like yeah. they Jordans were tennis shoes, Air Force Ones were tennis shoes, Agassiz okay, were yeah. tennis shoes. The Agassiz yeah. were tennis yeah. shoes. Yeah, tennis shoes. Yeah. But like I, my mom called sneakers tennis shoes. It was never sneakers. Yeah. Like she's yeah. just tennis shoes was a general term for sneakers. Like yeah, nobody yeah, yeah. said sneakers. In, at least in in the south back then, it was tennis shoes. Yeah, but the the thing is, the, the, the I I I second that actual north, north south divide because when when the swoosh when it was well, especially in school when the swoosh it was all about swoosh. Everybody was Air Max Air Max Air Max swoosh swoosh swoosh. Um, it's all about Nike Air Nike Air Nike Air Nike Air. And that was that's the fir- that's probably the first memory I have of sneakers. Is is basically oh Nike Air. You, you got to have a swoosh. You got to have a Nike Air, and and that was massive in London because it was it was like it's it's a culture. The, the divide is massive. Like when you, when we think about it, because when you go up to school, like if we talk to Scott, who basically he picks up uh, sneakers in Scotland. They don't wear Jordans or Nikes. They don't wear stuff like that. Um, and even though you have shops, even though the, the po- most of the people that actually pick up sneakers, I have a true sneakerhead that actually migrate from from down south to north, or they're people that actually retail sneakers. And that that's what the that's what the actual 
Wales, Scotland, the, the North and South divide is. Um, and you see that more because pe- pe- a lot of people up north wear more Adidas's than the people down south. I mean, this has changed, I reckon, re- realistically, over the last sort of 10 years. Yeah. Because yeah. because of influences from everywhere and obviously with the internet. And that it kind of also thing. goes down to it, avail- it availability as well. It, it, now, it, now Jordans are everywhere. The younger ones, are there's a lot yeah. of them. They're all wearing the Jordans and stuff like that. It's just that f- from, from me growing up, Jordan was never a thing, you know? No. And I think that's where this whole, like, joking us versus them thing comes from is because yeah. they, it, it didn't even reach the dial where I was from, you know, mm-hmm. a little, a little white lad from we, the North we, of England. It, it, it was it everything. It wasn't for about us. basketball. It was, it was everything. Was everything. For the, the, for us. And Michael, honestly, Jordan, Q, Michael Jordan was Q. everywhere when I was a child. And, and, this, and this, this is what cartoons, commercials, talk shows, TV shows, it, Michael Jordan was everything to a young black kid in the U.S. Michael Jordan was it was Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson, Mike Tyson. Yes, all the mics, <laughs> the three mics, the three mighty yeah. mics. And, and, we were, <laughs> and we were obviously very aware of Michael Jordan, but we there was no games on the TV. There was no nothing yeah. like that. The, I mean, I, the, I know the, was... the biggest the biggest American thing was American football came over to the UK around in the eighties, and yeah. so there was a lot of that going on. I really liked the LA Raiders at the time, and the reason I liked the LA Raiders was because I. Ice Cube had an LA Raiders hat on, right? <laughs> you know, all like the time. NWA and stuff like that. So, from from my love of the hip hop side of things and what he was wearing, and then when they all came over and played at Wembley and stuff like that in the eighties, so the American football thing uh, was available to us and we watched that. But there was no basketball games on TV. There was no and, kind of. I was still aware of him. Obviously, I was aware of him. I mean, he's a he's a worldwide international superstar. Yeah. And, and but, I can say I can so, second so that did, because okay. I can second that because the first my first memory of basketball was in, in the playground and hearing of the three P of my, of the Chicago Bulls with Michael Jordan. Mm. That was my first ever memory. And that that's that this is why I say this is why Michael Jordan is very significant for Nike and Jordan brand because we, we didn't we didn't get stuff like we didn't like we had three how many channels did we have back then? Three channels? Yeah, three channels, that, bro. I remember if like, if you if you if you didn't have cable <laughs> yeah if you if you didn't have cable or, or if you weren't rich enough to have cable like we weren't, um, you would have three channels, three, three, three government channels, and they didn't show basketball or anything like that. And we used to get the North, we used to get football, which is soccer to you guys, um, with international wise, and that was it, bro. Um, and what we heard was rumors and and hysteria about Michael Jordan doing the three P and all of that stuff. And that's where it, that's where the bas- where I first knew about basketball from my school day grounds when you you would hear about his feats of what he's done and then as you get older you can learn more and you uh, and you evolve more and you learn more so about basketball and you want to know more about basketball because of michael jordan that and what you what the guys in the states don't realize is that's how we grew up as as kids knowing basketball through michael jordan and this is why it's very significant for, significant for the brand and for us because we grew up knowing Michael Jordan. Bro, we didn't know about any of the other athletes back, back then. We were like maybe uh, 10 or 11 or 12 and we were hearing about Michael Jordan. See what I'm saying? Bro. So that, so that's that's our first ever memories about basketball. So when you mentioned Jordan Brown and Michael Jordan, yeah, because I knew him from the playground when people were talking about him because the See, rich kids was people- watching basketball. People, people. That's why people wear like we was talking about how the um, the hybrids and the team Jordans are doing so well now. That's why it's people yeah. that are older than us. It's people that's older than you, Ian, that were in their twenties and thirties. <laughs> can't be, no, can't I'm, be that old. Come on, no shade. Dude. Come on, no shade. Nobody's no shade. No, I'm <laughs> saying no shade. But like for for our for our, no. Nah. <laughs> I'm, I'm suffering now, man. That's what happens. People, people from that generation, like people that were grown when Michael Jordan hit the scene, still love Michael Jordan. Like it's sixty-year-old dudes walking around with Jordans on. You know what I'm saying? Because they love Michael Jordan. The association with him, they saw him in college. 
They saw him get drafted. They saw the first Jordan ones come out. They had the Jordan ones, the twos and three, all the OG stuff. Like you had all them OG Adidas silhouettes, all the exclusive stuff. All in. Look at Jumpman Boston. You know Jumpman Boston. Yeah. Look, look at I'm gonna I'm gonna send you his uh his IG. Jumpman Boston oh. is from Detroit. People from Detroit normally hate Michael Jordan because of the attachment yeah. to the Pistons. Yeah. And the beef between the Bulls and the Pistons back then, Jumpman Bostick is probably the biggest Jordan historian in the United States. The man has thousands and th- no every Jordan, every Jordan shoe. Every Jordan shoe. And he don't buy nothing else. He don't buy Air Max. He don't buy Adidas. He don't buy New Balance. He don't his his channel, um, he do all his videos from the basement of Jay's. Like his basement is a Jordan memorial. I might have seen this guy, you know, on YouTube. He's a he's an older fella, isn't he? He's maybe Glass like late ball. 50s or whatever. Yeah, mm. he liked the, I think he like 59, yeah, 58, so, 59, yeah. something like that. And yeah, the heat goes bro, into his you cellar. Exactly. In the basement ah. of Jay's. Yeah. And yeah. the jump yeah. went, bro. He gets he ain't nothing getting past him. He don't worry yeah. about when the new Jordans come out. He know he gonna get them one way or another. You know what I'm saying? Like that's his life. It's buying his whole yeah, yeah, life yeah, yeah. is buying Jordan sneakers. That's what I, he doing in his I, free time. We all have I that disease. Remember. We all have that yeah. disease. Really, they're just different yeah. styles. That's all. His levels. To I, it I, too. I can't. I can't believe. I don't know another athlete that's transcended that level of of. Um, not success global global is definitely global success as Michael Jordan has like there have been other athletes since then but prior to that I don't think there has been but the kids the don't know goal. but the kids don't know him as a as a basketball player nowadays no, do they they know him as a brand it's, it's, it's kind of like uh, Stan Smith um, Stan mm-hmm. Smith he's famously said like people actually thought I was just a shoe Mm-hmm. Not a real person, you know. Mm-hmm. I, I, eventually, that's going to happen, and, and, and to give it another fifty years, people will think Jordan's just a sneaker, not not a, not a, a basketball player. But they, yeah, they're doing it. The kids yeah. are doing it now, you know. The kids yeah. do it now. They they don't and see. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say this for for sure. I think Travis, the hmm. Travis range is that's basically why, going to. Be, that's why um, Triple H said what he said on Sneaker Shopping. Yeah, yeah. The, the, that Travis um, Scott I, is more more relevant to these kids now than Michael Jordan, Jordan himself. Yeah, yeah, and I, and I agree with that. And the more the more I thought about it, because I I was I was disagreeing with that, and we had that conversation outside the pod. But the more I think about it, the more I, I kind of agree with it, because now I believe in about ten, in about twenty years time, we, the, the kids will be looking at the Travis range as similar to like we look at the, the Air Max One range because that was their thing in that in their in their heyday when it was growing up. Because they'll look, they'll start looking at the Travis Ones, Jordan Ones, Travis, Jordan Lowe's, the the trainers, all that Air Maxes that he's done, um even the cut j- j- Jumpman Jack sneaker we're gonna get, they're going to see that as their Air Max one yeah, or their just, Air Maxes. It's just like I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you hundred and three thousand and C Low and Jay Z and, and but these kids they gonna tell you Drake and Future and you know they goats are different. Our goats are yeah. different. You know, our yeah. goats come from our nostalgia, our point of what nostalgia. we were brought up with. Yeah, what we well, were brought also, up with. Also, our goats are legitimate goats. <laughs> sorry, but <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, but like, listen, don't don't get me started on mumble rapping crap. Right, I'm not and, 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 and you know, and this is why. This is why. Him him and him and him and him and him. <laughs> Articulate your words, you mumbling idiot, and actually speak some sense. When, uh, I'm when, ice, say when this. ice Cube raps, when Ice T raps, you understand what he's saying, and you get the point. When these guys nowadays, <laughs> shut up. I'm not I'm I'm going to definitely say, I'm going to definitely say one right, thing. They're wrong. This, this is why this is why I reverberate around somebody like a Kendrick or a J. Cole more than any other rapper, any any other artist, because 
that lineage is still kept with those current day rappers, and I and I love that because they and this this is why I, this is why I love Kendrick because what he does for me he's an embodiment of what Tupac was and and what what and um, what would you call it uh, Dre did with with his um, I with Ice Ice Cube and all that stuff because um, that is within him to do that and I love that with Kendrick. This is why I love him as an artist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, also Andre three thousand. Yeah, Andre three thousand. Exactly, killer. And he, he was the first person to shout "Killer Mike." Yeah, if you if you like rap, you got you got to love Killer Mike. He said that in his album. So so mm-hmm. this is why I love him as an artist, and this is why I think he's absolutely awesome. But yeah, you're right. Our goats are our goats because they they are they they were there and battle ready it's every single they time. They are goats. That's the point. They yeah. are goats. These guys, man. Are- I start start sounding like a 52 year old man, you know. (laughs) Okay, okay. Back in my back in my day when there was proper rappers. (laughs) Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Shall, shall, shall we, um, uh, bro? We, we need to move on to our quick strats. But before we do that, before we do that, we what we like to always do on on this channel. <laughs> you already know Ian, what's coming. Loose shoes or dump, right? I, I probably got two for you. I got two for you. I got two for you this week. Um, loose shoes or dump. Okay. <laughs> You can I, you know you know the premises of this. Oh, you can yes. lose one, oh, yes. you can choose one, or you can dump one. All right, cool. Um, so basically, for those who listen for the first time, uh, if you if you dump it, that means it's gone out of existence. If you lose it, that means Ian loses it and he gives it to everybody else. If you choose it, it means it's generically for everybody. That's fine. So loose shoes or dump? Are you gonna pick trainers, sneakers, or crips? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm keeping the one I want. Trainers. Okay. okay. Uh, crepes can be dumped, man. I'm sorry, that is just like what are you, crepes. What are you talking about? Uh, cre- crepes yes. and crepes. Crepes and crepes. Yes. Yo, I'm cre- so I'm so happy you answered this question and you answered that the best possible way, bro. Because no. trainers, that's what y'all say. That's what I got used to y'all saying. We say sneakers. So you gave me sneakers. Yeah. Y'all got trainers. Yeah. Crepes is a, I don't like that word. I never it's did. Like, it reminds me, a crepe is a little pancake. Great. Yeah, great. Exactly. Crepe. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm go, okay, I might do, I might do it two more then, actually. Is this a quick French, French restaurant right. or something. Right. I mean, we always do. We always do this with, with the That's guests. That's a great creep. When you out here crepe, I think about it. Hey, bonjour. Man. Oh, 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 no, no. Q, say crepes. it properly. Chris, you gotta say you, Chris, that's the one I want. That's the one I want. Um, uh, th- 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 <laughs> I like uh, Ian's version better. <laughs> um, uh, th- next up, uh, next up, and you go yeah, end up with a soundboard. Yeah. Right, all right, all right. I, I need to write. The, <laughs> I need to write that down. <laughs> and next up is um, Lucius mm-hmm. the Dump, um, OG, GR, or collaborations. Now, do you know I was driving? thinking about this the other day mm-hmm. because I've got a lot of collaborations, but you can't... OG is less important to me, okay? Okay. Because I I don't have shoes for a particular team or, you know, like you've got the Chicago ones or these are the OGs, right? The Black Toes or, and all this kind of thing. For me, I'm not overly concerned with the OG to be honest mm. so that would that would be gone for me um well you're dumping I've, the OGs yeah I dumped the OGs and, and I've got to keep the general I've got to keep the GRs because you know otherwise little 12 13 year old me wouldn't have been able to buy those gazelles with his bakery money um, right and i'm keeping the collabs all the, the collabs oh so you so you so you're choosing the collabs you're choosing the collabs losing the grs the, the because OG, it means everyone else can have the ogs but yeah the, uh, no, the, oh, the no, no, no. Me, you're dumping the ogs you're dumping the OGs. Yeah, I'm dump- dumping the ogs i'm keeping the grs for other people and i'm having the collabs okay. that's interesting cool. that's the first that's the first is that the first OG dump? No, yeah, that's the first OG dump. It, it probably is because okay. other people are like the Jordans or whatever, and and I I do understand. I'm very aware well. Of the OGs, fact that the OG... OGs don't 
aren't only Jordan. I mean, it's yeah, the term. Well, most of the time we use the term, we're talking about Jordan, but OG is not Jordan exclusive term. No, right? I, I every, understand every brand that. has OG. So whatever yeah. brand you, because you, we've been talking about a lot of Adidas special stuff that you just got rid of. Yeah, I know. But I couldn't get it anyway because my dad won't buy it for me. So <laughs> there you go. Let's not no, let's I'm not a... just put it on Jordan, you know. No, no, no. But I'm I'm your, I'm your, severe, your I'm collection about a red or a blue Ma- uh, Air Max one. I kinda like the weird and wonderful ones, you know, the that that peacocking me, because I'm gonna call it peacocking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, anybody that says that they don't wear stuff so that other yeah. people like are gonna blow yeah. steam up. It's lying, the capping, right? So I I do like to stand yeah. out. So I like to be a peacock. And that I've ever since that nine year old boy had those Nike Elite on and everybody started going, ah that feeling. Yeah. You is, you it, yeah, it's, it's like chasing the sneaker dragon. Out, yeah. like, Def, why, definitely like, chasing like, the sneaker dragon. It's like Q <laughs> says, you know, you've got to have the right outfit to go with the right shoes. And I do make sure that my socks match. I do make sure mm-hmm. that everything, because if you've got a brown trainer on, if you've got a brown sneaker on, and then you get like grey socks, you look like an idiot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Very Sorry. true. Very you true. Very I'm true. But right, last, last, Lucius the. Yeah, Jordan's campus gone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> campus, Sambas, or Gazelles? Oh. Right, okay. <laughs> Getting rid of campus. The shape mm. is weird on the campus. I don't what? know what it is. I've got one pair of campus, and they're the bad bunny ones. Um, but yeah, campus are gone for me. I don't like the front of them. They're a bit weird looking. So I'm gonna. Uh, I will keep the gazelles. Okay. And and then uh, other people can have the samba. The fourteen okay, year cool, old cool, cool. white girl can have the sambas. <laughs> What a take! What a take! All right, cool. And to to wrap to round off this whole segment interview with you, buddy, uh, we're gonna mm. do this. What what sneaker are you introducing? Or what are you introducing? Not sneaker. What are you introducing into the gas station? Because we we discussed oh. this before, and you had a hot take. Oh, the gas station go. sneaker for th- the All gas right. station topic for this week. What oh, are you introducing to that gas station? I oh. forgot about the gas station. <laughs> yeah, so because Ian, Ian reminded me before this. He was like, "But you remember uh, Room One Hundred One?" I said, "Yeah, we already got that gas station. Yeah. Sne- ga- the, okay. What are you introducing to the gas station this week?" Okay, so Q. First of all, I've had a wonderful time chatting with you, and. I don't want to upset you, but uh, Jordan 11 is going to be out. I am sorry. You can put your sunglasses on all you want, Q, but I'm sorry, mate. (laughs) A patent leather shoe should only be on a four-year-old girl in a party (laughs) princess outfit on a little shoes going to a little party. Patent leather is not built for a man. It is wrong. It looks silly. It creases and is absolute gash, as far as I'm concerned. And I, I hate you doing this, Q, because we're getting on so well. We're having a good time. We're having a laugh. But anybody that wears a Jordan 11 trainer and then put them in a suit, you are a goon. That's why I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so I'm so sorry. To okay, the, 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 this this week this this week hot take from in, from me and we're putting Jordan we're putting Jordan Levens in the gas station. <laughs> any any patent leather any patent leather sneaker is oh, I just can't. They are four little girls with the little princess party dress on, and they've got the little patent leather shoes on. And they get excited because <laughs> they're going to a little party. <laughs> Right. That's why. They, that is, so that's why they're going in. All right. So I've given you a, a reason why they go in, as well as the fact that I just. We, we, I respect your opinion. All right. Yeah, Episode you, you, one twelve. You, you. Shootout podcast. <laughs> we appreciate everybody tuning in. Um, I'm sorry to anybody from America who's listening to this. I do. Buy. Buy what you like. Buy what you like.
<laughs> write what you like. I like the divi- um, I like the diversity. I just we will, I love it, no no no. You stop talking now. We would never have Ian back on the podcast ever again. I'm about to block him on Instagram. I'm, I'm blocking him. Matter of fact, let me do it right now. <laughs> Instant block. block. Instant block. No no. I, it, it's, I, it, I it, you, you, <laughs> no, no, it's it's, it's, it's funny. Like we will um, on Ian's behalf for this week, we'll introduce to get Jordan Levens into the gas station. No, you know, just we will not. Yourself. I know everyone. We will not. That refute you, you say. <laughs> <laughs> yo, bro, yo, bro, you <laughs> called them hot boxes the other the other week. Because <laughs> you shouldn't wear them in the summertime. No, you, you shouldn't wear them sometimes. You uh, to be honest, them. <laughs> yeah, you had your turn. <laughs> <laughs> you had your turn. All right, cool. Okay. Uh, let's, let's, let's let's swiftly move on to some quick strikes this week. So, first quick strike is um, <coughs> we know we know Nike's um did Paris uh week or Paris Olympic week this week, so they've they showed out. They literally showed out this week with some innovations. Where's Q gone? He's, he's, he's left in disdain because this northern <laughs> English lad has just slagged off put, a sacred put, put, pair put, of 11s. No, it's blasphemy. Yeah, put, put. It's slander. It's blasphemy. <laughs> and I don't appreciate it. <laughs> it, it, it's probably it's probably one of the most iconic Jordan Levin, Jordans you could put up there. Is Mike is the bastard goat's favorite shoe? Yeah, <laughs> but um, g- going going back into this week's quick strikes. Um, so this week we saw Nike um, do the most. I'd say the most, and they introduced the Paris Olympic lineup. Let's run through that, bro, because that that was epic. And there's a couple of variations. I'm really interested to see and get your opinions on. Should, should I? You got it, bro. First so basically, all, um, go on. let's let's start with the. We just talked about marketing with Nike. Mm-hmm. Like they. <laughs> Look at the type of foolishness they got going on. <laughs> and m- my, mind you, so, mind you, we we were looking at Nike um, AI designs from a lot of other people, but Nike actually went the, down the AI route with the with these mm-hmm. um, inspirations, which is which is utilizing what is already out there and utilizing some of the innovations. And let's not even talk about the Pegasus Premium, no, bro. We gotta like, we gotta yeah, we got to do it, it the way because this is a whopper of a shoe. Yeah, um, I like this. They wasted money on the Scorpion. They should have been trying to do more stuff like this. Agreed. I like Bro, this. this is, is it's crazy chunky, and it feels like a. It looks like it's gonna be a crazy ride. Like once you put these on feet, but I want to see it. I wanna. I wanna do it. Yeah. Have, you, have you ever tried on those next percent ones? No, I have not. Because I'd like to try what they're like. Because they look super bouncy. Bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this is a triple zoom sneaker, right? Here, bro. Mm. Pretty much, it, it's literally it's coming out in twenty twenty five. So anybody that wants this, you have to wait a year to, for it to come out. It's, but this is called a Pegasus Premium. It's got visible air unit, which is sculpted from forefoot to heel, which is awesome. It's controlled by it's controlled to carry runners' power efficiency. So basically, giving you more fe- effective running power and giving you more. Uh, well, energy back into your runs, which is awesome. Uh, from 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 heel to toe, which is awesome as well. Re- Re- React X is foam on the uh-huh. and uh, and zoom foam on it, which is dope, uh-huh. absolutely dope. And bro, bro I like this. It's a triple a stack, dog. It's triple a triple stack. stack. So, I mean, one layer is React, but you might it might always be triple zoom because you put zoom yeah. on you put React. On top of Zoom, on top of Zoom. And to the react. Like, well, come yeah. on, bro. Zoom that, that is already you, stupid. You ain't, you ain't going to feel the ground. You ain't going to feel the ground or the bounce bro, back. Bro, what are you? Are you, awesome. you going to feel anything? <laughs> You're going to feel air. You're going to feel air, bro. <laughs> are you going to be able to tell that you're walking? <laughs> I, you know what? On, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. I'm getting this next year. I'm getting this, this next year. This is nuts, bro. That's nuts. This is nuts. That's so, bro, it's so chunky. Oh, my God. I like What's it though. You, yeah, go on. I Ian. like it. I like it. I like, but I love a runner. So, like, runners are my real passion. I've got more runners than anything else. Look, love, look at like the ventilation on that. Look at the ventilation on that, bro. Like, it, 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 with, it's, this is and the very dope. Looks like, yeah, it's very it looks dope. Like a, very, a very dope. Full airbag in the middle as well, eh? Mm-hmm. Zoom. It's full. It's full airbag. That isn't it? Yeah, total yeah. heel. Total heel. Yeah. 100% zoom action. And you, you know what? 
I like the colour as well. I like the colour on this as well. Absolutely fire. Yeah, that's, they need to, that's a lot of money right there, man. Yeah. <laughs> that's a three hundred dollar sneaker. Oh, bro, I hope it's not. I just I hope bet, it's I not. Bet it is, man. That could be. Yeah. A I feel like yeah, we they might yeah, we might be looking at a three for that. Bro. Um, but the, this, this, this is what you get when you put artificial AI intelligence into your design work. You can get some really, really interesting concepts out of this. And this is not the only thing that we saw. Is there anything else you want to show, bro? Because I can pull something up. I like that. Yeah. This is, yes. this is the uh, Nike Alpha Fly 3 in the Paris colorway with the Bowman prototype stamp on it. To each of these pairs are um, in the Paris... Olympic colorway that Nike is rolling out. They, and athletes they, they will be wearing this. Yes. Athletes will Nike, be wearing this. All the Nike people, all the... I think, is it, is it going to be everybody or is it just going to be the Nike uh, sponsored teams? Um, Nike sponsored teams, I think. The okay. athletes, Nike sponsored athletes. So Wait, I'm got, actually wrong. We they covering, they're covering all bases, dog. They're covering all bases. This is the Nike Alpha Fly 3. Um... I don't I don't know if we'll see this. We might see these these in maybe a long distance or a triathlon or maybe something like that. Uh, cuz there's a lot of Olympic sports that don't get covered. The Olympics is is every sport is in the Olympics. Like the Olympics that y'all don't know about, don't care about that's in there. So somebody will probably maybe a road race or something. Um <laughs> Yeah, isn't skateboarding for first? It's oh. his first Olympics for skateboarding. We'll no, get there. We'll get there. But yeah, they had the Olympics at Tokyo. Uh, Tokyo was okay, skateboard. Cool. Uh, so yeah. this is the second second variation. Yeah, yeah. Hey. We got uh, we got more track shoes. Um, <clears throat> along with the Alpha Fly, we got the Pegasus Forty One, and we have the Air Zoom Max Fly Two, which is a track shoe. These are all the the pack. <clears throat> excuse me, the pack is called a blueprint pack, by the way. Yeah, it, it's it's um, literally predominantly white. If you if you're listening to this, go and check out the Nike Paris um, um, uh, pack. capsule. Yeah, blue, blueprint capsule pack. Basically, it's predominantly blue, like predominantly blue, orange, and white. That's what you're getting with this actual pack, which is dope. The colorway they use is dope on this. So those those are the running offerings. Those three sneakers, basketball. We got the GT Cut and GT Hustle in that same colorway with the Bowerman stamp on the tag, exposed stitching, and all type of craziness going on. Um, so look for those if y'all looking for the hoop shoes. Football boots. Let's go. <laughs> Nike Air Zoom. That's the name of them. Mercurial Superfly in the Blueprint colorway. Y'all know the sneaker. If y'all know Nike football, y'all know the Mercurial Superfly is one of the goats of the Nike football line. So it's here. And the bottom is crazy. I always love the chrome effects on boots. Mm -hmm. Crazy. And um, don't forget, walking in with them suits on. <laughs> the ends. They the will ends. be rocking <laughs> the blueprint the ends. All white with the blue, with the orange oh. alien eyes, or or the the orange uh, uh what did, what you call it? Uh, tractor, 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 the, the tractor. The tank tires on the on, you know what I mean. Yeah. The snowmobile, yeah. the whole snowmobile effect is going on. It's, the it's, ends, bro, the ends are doing the ends are doing stuff this year. Do you like? like them? I don't like them, man. No, no, don't I, I, like, I, I, you all right I, with the ends? Don't rock with you them at li all. Li like it. Do you, do you know what it is, right? Okay, so and back going back a little bit, the problem that we had with uh, Nike, say Air Max 90s, for example, or any of the sort of those style, um, they were worn by a certain type of character around our area, and so we didn't wear them. Um, and the DNs are a JD in the UK, a JD sports type shoe, which is, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. it's, that, it's more for that crowd. You know, they're wearing like the Nike tech fleece. They've got the DNs on, or they've got this. You, on. Hit, you, you know, hit the nail on the head. It's, 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 the nail on the head. it's that style. Yeah. It's that I'm, style. I'm, gla I'm it's glad you know me. that as well. Q. It's not, Roadman it's not shoe. for me. Yeah. It's not, yeah, it's I, not I, for I, me. Love it, love it or hate it. 
it's doing numbers. This is what I'm trying to get at. I'm, I'm being, like I'm being from a neutral perspective. It's like it's like the Nike 270. It's for that kind of market. It's for yeah. like the the Air Max 270 crowd, the 720s. Uh, it's for that type of crowd. Uh, it's not for me. But you, are you, you, know, you like, saying hey, if, hey. If, if the Air Force One crowd? Yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Mm, yeah. possibly. Guess what? Q's tip of the week. What have you got, bro? <laughs> There's a difference between a hooligan and a road man. Oh, yeah. The difference between, bro? Oh, no. <laughs> no. That's the bottom line. Because Stone <laughs> <laughs> I don't know yeah, why, really no, what, what I actually meant is is the crowd that wears the triple black Air Force Ones or the triple white Air Force Ones you probably maneuver to the DMs as well because it's it's a, it's another like you said like if you don't know what Ian meant by JD sneakers if you, if your sneaker ends up at JD it's 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 a sneaker that is suited to a certain market and and pe- and some 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 people say JD sneakers up where sneakers go and die and then DMs are not dying but they are for a certain demographic of of, um, of sneakers you're laughing but it's true bro you laugh, and it is a lot there of jokes ma- being made over here they're a mass market like the they're a mass market um, Air Max you know <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's an Air Max bro. It's, the, it's the flagship Air Max for the year so of course it's a mass market sneaker it's doing better, better than the Pulse from last year yeah, yeah the Pulse better, actually than, the the Pulse, Pulse better than the Scorpion yeah. uh, <laughs> better than uh, what, was the, what was the one before that the um, the 270s not 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 the 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 270 reacts yeah they they did okay the second one didn't the scorpion didn't the post did so yeah. the end is, is doing a lot better than any other uh, flagship air mask that we've seen in the in the past few years yeah. in, but, in um, London you've seen a lot more DNs come yeah, bro I'm not not seeing them. Not seeing uh, them. Because you don't be around the road, man. <laughs> Last but not least, <laughs> Nike SB8. E. For the skateboarders uh, in the Olympics, I really, really like these. Uh, it was some speculation about them, but it seems that they are real. This is actually what the sneaker is going to look like. Um, same same uh, colorway aesthetic, the white with the fuchsia or whatever color they want to call that. It looks like it looks like fuchsia on it. But uh, these got a clear bottom. It's named after the GOAT of skateboarding, Nike skateboarding anyway, Sandy Bodecker. Um, this is the SB8 problem solver. Sandy Bodecker's uh, IG handle was the problem solver 8. Mm-hmm. So... Um, Shout out to Nike for uh, once again doing it for Sandy on the SB side, naming the sneaker after him, putting a putting a new tech for the skaters to try to help uh, the Nike skaters win the gold. So that's what it's all about. Nike Nike is, is uh, doing what Nike does to try to get gold medals for Nike athletes, and the US um, is sponsored by Nike. Nike is a US company. We know what's going yeah. on. Well, I wonder what's going to happen with the Reebok athletes if they, when they when when the NBA when they have to not when they have to feet up those um, no, Nikes. They're gonna wear they're gonna wear Nike shoes. Some of them might cover the swoosh or whatever. It's, but they have to wear the shoes. That's why yeah. it's so um, much controversy around the U.S. Olympic team, men's basketball team, and probably the women's team too, is because of uh, the brand stuff that go on. We talk about this fairly often. Yeah. Nike doesn't want non Nike athletes representing the brand because they know it's going to be some shade involved. It's going to be some mm. covering the logo and stuff like that. So they don't want that. Also, so it's, it's you, 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 you forgot one, one more sneaker, bro. The Nike mm. break dancing, the break dancing sneaker, I did which is, about uh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, 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 which is awesome. Is it similar vein? Uh, I don't know. When was break dancing um, introduced? To, uh, is it the first time they're doing it, or is it this? Is, uh, it's been well, there before. Gymnastics. Have yeah, I know gymnastics. Watched, this is 
I, I'm Olympics. not. This is not. This is, this is not gymnastics. It's break dancing. This is b-balling. Wait, 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 wait. This is break dancing. Like actual break dancing. Yeah, actually break dancing, bro. They put breaking in the Olympics. <laughs> yeah, this is <laughs> what I'm trying to say. Is this the first time? <laughs> <It's over>. <laughs> 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 Ian, Ian moving a jive there. Yeah, but it, 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 Nike showed out. Nike really showed out. There you go. <laughs> Nike really, really showed out. But um, last quick start we're going to cover. Last quick start we're going to cover quickly um, is um, this this whole samba wave at this moment in time. Is it is it just hype or is it really something that's going to stick? Because we, we, we talked about this earlier. We kind of alluded to this earlier. Is it just a trend or is it pure hype and mass hysteria that's way it's going to stay? It's going to move at this upper level. No, it's not. It's just a trend. It's just the same as the 550 was. It's just the same as uh, the Air Force, the dirty Air Force ones. It's, <laughs> it, it's gonna I don't be, think that's it, a trend. I think that's a life. Dirty Air Force, dirty no. white sneakers is a lifestyle. Well, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> but, but like some proper fashionable little lasses on the Instagram and stuff, and then they've got dirty, dirty white trend. Anyway. It's a, yeah. it's a trend as far as I'm concerned. Because uh, they, 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 like, and that's a banking on the Samba to, to, to kind of get them to where they need to be. But they, they, this is why they keep producing, like, uh, collaborations. This is why they keep producing, at, like, they did a Messi. Um, they did a lot Messi with Messi as well. But, like, this, yeah. they feel, they cut, you know, pushing it. But, like, it feels like, not, I'm not going to say forced, but it feels like, it feels forced. That's what it feels like. It feels forced to shove it in your face because this is the thing that they're trying to push. I think I think they I think they've struggled so much lately when something hits and sells well, they're just going to try and rinse it for all it's worth. I mean, they're just corporations in the end, aren't they? They don't care about mm-hmm. us. They don't care. I was going to say that's, they, that's advertising and in it. Like I mean, that's marketing. Y'all yeah. got something that's working. You got to push yeah. it, and and they're going to push it. But like the samba has always been loved within uh, the sort of the casual scene, um, anyway. And like I said, it came out in the nineteen fifties, um, so it's always going to have like its um, fans. But mm-hmm. now nah, the, the samba trend wave, or whatever you want to call it, is going to die the, this year. And it's yeah, gonna end up, it's gonna end up a meme just like the uh, Panda Dunks were, you know. Like now, everybody that's interviewed says that's the worst shoe that's ever invented, which is a yeah. ridiculous. It's a ridiculous comment because it isn't. You've got What's stuff that? like that ISPA Nike, whatever it's called, horrendous, Bruh. you know. And it's, stuff I like mean, that. we got we got people out here throwing throwing shit at the wall, bro, and. It just oozed down. It's, not, it's, not, yeah. it's just gonna yeah. ooze down to the floor, and the uh, janitor gonna come scoop it up in the middle of the yeah. night, and it's out of there. You know, yeah, but, but fingers, yeah. fingers, nobody fingers. will see it tomorrow. Like this end of shift, yeah. everybody go home. When we come back tomorrow, everything will be clean. <laughs> the, 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 the problem is, is it's not because it's horrible. Like if you, if you say the panda dunk's horrible, then you're basically saying every dunk low is horrible. And then that's not the case. The case is My wife it, just because got it's two two brand new pair of dunks yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So so it's it's not the, it's, that's not the case. The case of the matter is is the fact that it's been it forced into not forced. It's been there for everybody for for so many so for a year two two years now, and everybody's just fed up of looking at them because it, it it's. Like we said, we love things that are special and unique, and and quite like it just brings the the whole. Oh yeah, nobody else has got it. But when everybody else has got it, when it's all played out, even when a casual sneaker, when it reaches a casual sneaker heads and it becomes a casual sneaker, that's when us sneakerheads will crack from that and say, you know what, you casual heads have it. But we don't want it no more in, in in the culture, and that that's what it's that's what's happened. That's what happened with the panda. It's not the it's not the silhouette. It's the colorway, and this is it's a similar to the satin. Unfortunately, this might be a silhouette for the for the Adidas. Was Adidas are pushing out so much, but when it becomes even, even though it was synonymous in the cult, in the casual culture, when it become when it comes to the point when it's oversaturated, like the NMDs, like the Yeezys, like everything else that Adidas has started to push out. And then they, they do it too much to the point where everybody just gets fed up of them. Oh, you got sambas, and then about, about in a year or so, we'll be we'll be talking about oh, you got sambas. Nah, we don't it's like sambas no more. 
it's, yeah, it's, access. it's when it's when we feel like people have access to the same things that we and because of where we are in the culture, it's easier to cop. Yeah. And yeah, so the yeah. things that we deem cool are going eventually catch on to the casual culture. We do it to ourselves. Um innately. You know, yeah. it's not like uh we're not running around telling people that don't wear the stuff we wear, you should buy this. But they see us. Yeah. Yep, yep. You know, and we get publicized. And then and the, you know the celebrities catch on. And and when the celebrities catch on, that's when the people catch on. But the celebrities you know get it from us. Because yeah. we are the culture to deem sneakers cool. We are the sneaker culture. So yeah, anybody I mean, was, outside of the sneaker culture is getting it from us, bro. We are the yeah, source. Well, you know what's really, you what's really interesting is we were talking about two years back. We were talking about 150 pairs of Air, or Air Jordan One release last year. Was we didn't hear the same reverberations, but this year, if you look at if you look at the releases, we got one or Oko Yellow. We've got we've got the Chrome version that Jenny wants the Jordan one coming out, and we have got I've seen a couple others um, being like going to release or predicted to release, but there's not a lot of Jordan ones releasing as much as they were the last couple of years. They've retracted that back massively, knowing knowing the fact that if they do overplay it, and people won't buy it, and Peter it's Jordan one worse it. It's all it's all it's, it's already overplayed. So they what they what they've done is just retracted it back and gone back to hopefully what I was thinking they should do is five Jordan ones a year, one collaboration. I know Travis is releasing Travis is a different matter. That's a different topic in itself because Jordan one lows it will sell. The Travis but, got but Jordan see, one lows see, will always sell. It's not easy access. No, it's not you easy. You can't access. walk in the store and see no Travis. But when when you uh, look at retail, GRs. You can't walk in but when you look, and buy a Travis for retail nowhere. Yeah. When you walk in but when and you see look a Travis, at, it's a thousand plus. Period. Yeah, yeah. But when you look at GR, GR ones, if we ha, guys go and have a look at Jordan One GRs um, and tell me how many are coming out this year. It won't be two hundred. It won't even be a hundred. Like you no, might get the lows this was and a highs. GR. Yeah, of course this was it was a GR. GR. Yeah. But and and people couldn't get it. It yeah. was yeah. it was the time. It was during the pandemic. Hype. Uh, of for the ones and all that stuff combined that presented uh what, the, what you're finding the, the, the one as this thing that everybody yeah. and once everybody was able to get it we was like you know what i don't even want them though yeah. look who wearing them you ain't you ain't even doing it you ain't even wearing them right yours dirty yeah. why yours dirty you ain't no sne- stop yeah. you ain't even a sneakerhead stop you know what i can't do nothing you do yeah, but, Look, but I don't know. I don't know Adidas culture, right? I'm not listening to nobody that don't know as much as Ian know about Adidas, because Ian yeah. showed me two Adidas already that I like, and I'm I'm more mad at Adidas, even though I don't champion Adidas. I'm more <laughs> mad at them now because they got other stuff that I feel like could have them more in competition with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but it's good. You- I'm I'm definitely that, but going back to Jordan, I'm definitely seeing a switch around. Like we, I'm definitely seeing, not like we're not seeing a Jordan one every single month now. Every single month, like last couple of years back, we were getting a Jordan one every month, bro. Every single month, this one, that one. This, we're not seeing that. So it's it's a, it's a massive attraction. It's a massive but attraction. Do you, at the but moment. do you do, do you not think that is uh, a reaction? Because when covid happened yep. everybody was buying everything so yep. they're, they're, i reckon the brands were just like oh god this is amazing let's just pump out and pump out and because it's like a year and a half between inception oh, and release hundred they facts. were just they were just going yeah let's pump them out and and last oh, year was like the last year <laughs> of it happening and now they've gone on and we need to calm it down now don't we yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. That that's total facts. And when when the brands start looking at the profit levels from COVID to when they look at the profit levels now, they, there's no comparison. What they need to look at is a, is a pro, they need to ignore the COVID period exactly. and look yeah. at the look at look at the profit levels before before COVID and look at the profit levels after COVID. And that's the that's the comparison you need to take because 
We know we everybody went crazy sitting at home picking up sneakers left, right, and center. Every sneaker was getting sold out. You, every sneaker was a hype sneaker. Every sneaker was valuable. And now it's no longer the case. You need to ignore that period of COVID between 2019 and 2022 and then have a retrospect of what was happening before and what was happening after. And I Yo, think he's pulled out. Beatles just need to drop more jeans, uh, Mark 1s. Yeah, that's a Mark yeah. II again. Let me find it. I'll that's find a two. It. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep trying the front to find it, bro. <laughs> what you mean? It looked like a, a, a hybrid samba. I've got, I've got a Mark One. Uh, it's just not. Pull, pull it out, bro. Please pull it out, real quick. I'll have to run. I'll be two seconds. I'll get one. Yeah, but but uh, it's it's um, it was interesting. It was it's interesting to see like Ian is very very knowledgeable. Um, and it's good to have him on the podcast this week because Bro, he's see, some see, real good. This, this right here. The pro model. This is a classic right. deals to me. I'm you back, know what I'm saying? Back, like, back. in yeah, my opinion, pro model. In, cool. in my opinion, they should be doing, why ain't no stone, is there a Stone Island pro, pro model? Nah. Why? Why? I, I don't why? know. I, I listen. You completely. Why? Right. Why didn't no Sean Witherspoon, Bad Bunny, uh, uh, Fear of God pro model? Come on now. Okay, so this is old, but that is the Mark One. So it doesn't have the bumper on the front. Okay. It's just more. Uh, but this is a very old. <laughs> this is an old shoe. But what, what, what's, what's the date? Oh, this this one this one is basically a one of one of a uh, old like a uh, two thousand and four something like that. Ooh, one of yeah. one. Uh, one of one uh, re reissue. Okay. Yeah, so it's as as good a reissue as you you're gonna get of the. So it's kind of it's like a kind of runner meets flat suede, you know. Um, but yeah, I, I love them, and there's a you can get baby blue ones from 2004 and 2009. They did a release as well. But yeah, I love I love those things. So you it's, ain't seen that sneaker release in the past 15 years. I've not I've not seen of that. Yeah, like a real the 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 best ones are like West Germany and Austrian ones. They're from like the sort of uh, 80s. I really want those, but they're going for serious money. Um, what would you um what do you think of the ZX range? Oh, I love the ZX range. The ZX range is from our raving days, you see. This is like I, I know, keep saying that. Late nineties, uh, sorry, late eighties, early nineties. Um everybody was wearing it was acid house, so all the music came up from Detroit and Chicago, uh, and really blew up in the UK. And especially around, uh, well, all of the UK was taken with the rave scene and it was all like bright neon colours and all this kind of thing. And then you'd have the um, the super comfortable because back in the day, you couldn't go to a nightclub if you weren't wearing shoes. Yeah, It was just a very weird time. It was a weird time where everyone was looking like they would just come back from going to a wedding and they were getting really drunk in a nightclub, you know? <laughs> It was a very different time, and then when yeah. the rave started, then people could start wearing comfortable stuff because they're dancing yep. all night. Right. Uh, I remember I'm that. a football I remember hooligan. That. I'm definitely more of a raver. I was like, yeah. I was 18 in 1990, so this the is... Glow sticks and the boots and pants. Oh, my God. I was doing big big box, little box, big <laughs> box, little box, big box, little box, past the box. <laughs> and and I, I keep I keep saying this. The, Z, the ZX range is, is dope. The, Red, the, the bo- ZX range I've, is I've super got dope. I've, I've got you. D- Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> show until time with with Ian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you if you guys if you, if you listen if you listen to this, um, it's probably worth checking out the podcast. Um, to no, timestamp. You, got, and, you and, gotta watch it on YouTube, bro. You gotta yeah, yeah. watch it on YouTube. But we don't we don't say that like we don't try to drive the audience. You know we appreciate uh, everybody that watches and listens to us on whatever platform. But I I do encourage I want to encourage y'all to uh, check it out on YouTube if y'all can if y'all listening on any of the audio platforms because Ian is pulling out some uh, so this one I really want to talk about just for a second this is a ZX4000 but this is a collaboration with a South African uh, boutique called Shelf Life Uh, Nike have just just done a Nike have just done a Shelf Life collaboration 
This was from around 2019. Now it just looks plain, right? Uh, but the materials are just immense. And what I love about it is how to set up. Oh, yeah. And now that is lit. This is a, a traditional South African uh, dress uh, yeah, yeah. material, and it's all canvas on this side. Um, and then it's the same on the other shoe. So the inside is this material. But the details on this, this is a consortium, so you've got the little hole there. But yeah, this is a ZX4000, and I just I just love it. It's very underrated, um, but it's just a little bit weird, a little bit different, you know? No, You're walking along it. like this, and then you go, boom! <laughs> yeah, I'm, That's one of the ones. That's one of the yeah, ones that when you go I'm, to a sneaker event, you can exactly. pull out, and you know ain't nobody going to be in there with that. And, and I, I, exactly right, Q. That's exactly what it's about, you know? I, I like, I like, but different. Yeah, I, I like the ZX. The ZX is such a great range. I got the ZX eight thousand, um, the Bape undefeated with the black variation. I want to get the green variation because it, it's fire. To They're me, going it looks for cheap money dope. now, bro. I know, I know. I, I, and, and exactly the ZX, the, the ZX range ain't. It's not been put. It, it don't get pushed like that either. But the the OG colorways are dope as well. The OG oh, colorways on the ZX the are aqua, dope. The Aqua ZX yep. eight thousand. Yeah. Aqua is the iconic. That's that to yeah. to very, ZX very. people. That's yeah. kind of like a Chicago or a no, no. Yeah. That's that's just that's just a fire runner, bro. Ain't no yeah. ain't no light, no nothing. It's just a and, fire and runner. Fire. Bro. We, we, and, the thing is, what you what you guys probably realize from this whole conversation with Ian is that's, the, that's the one not, with like with the, it's got like the netting yeah. on the inside of the midsole, right? Uh, it's the yeah uh, yeah they have I've got one here with me. <laughs> white, of course you white, have you. white, blue, and like <laughs> a like an orangish type color, right? Yep, yep, no, yep that's it, the one, bro. It's, it's so, but there's a, you have to get the particular year because they released uh, the Aqua in 2020 and 2019, and it's right. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That one. So the, the you're looking one. second row, second one in is that's the original color. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. the original ZX8000 color that was released in. 2009, 2004, and 2013, they released the t the lighter kind of look like washed out aqua, which you yeah you just there. That was 2020, so that was sl it, slightly different. It annoyed me a little bit because the color, the vibrancy of the oh right. yeah. uh, oh four oh nine is way better. And and yeah. like even 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 from a Jordan Nike perspective. I can respect I, I not, not the fact that I don't just pick up Jordan Nike I can respect that I really do respect that because it's a classic it's a it's such a yeah, classic I respect it. I don't care about it though yeah, yeah it's, it's, and, it, and exact, it's exactly the same with me Q with, with Jordans I respect them I just don't care about them you know yeah, <laughs> and, you and, 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 and that's what's cool about this you know, yeah. that's what's good about yeah, this you, game. Yeah, because yeah, I can see you talk about ZA so all day long. Ain't none of them better than any Air Max. Yeah, I mean, Except the Scorpion. Except the Scorpion. ZA's better than Scorpion. Scorpion stretch. I've got one, one last one. I just want to show you from the Adidas world. All right, I, I love this. This right. has been an awesome podcast today. This awesome, awesome podcast. Innovation, right? Innovation. Travis Scott, what's he got? He's got that little pocket for special things right yeah special oh, things yeah 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 special okay, things so for special occasions this this is a city a pt runner and if you go like that and then you have a little pocket in there for <laughs> special small items that you might need. All right, your all sweeties. Right, all right, your sweeties. Enough, your enough sweeties. Of this, your gummies. This, ain't, this is not a Adidas show. This ain't, uh, this ain't I'm going to I'm, I'm get you to buy some Adidas. Or no, you won't. I might even, I might <laughs> even send some over to you, Q. No, no, don't do just that. Just so. Don't, do don't waste your money. Because, because you're, a, you're a respectful guy. And so, out of respect, if somebody uh -uh. gives you a gift, you're not going to throw it away, are you, you see? No, I, I, there's a, there's the thing uh, on the internet called GOAT. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> the, yeah, but the the bad thing about Adidas is, my friend, you'll only get like thirty bucks for them because there's no resale on Adidas. <laughs> Facts. You said. Facts. You no, said. It's true. I didn't it's say. true. It's true. But that, to be honest, that's kind of what I love about it as well. You know, people help each other out because yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. like 100%. like you guys help each other out, right? Yeah. The Adidas community is more. Uh, well, we're older, so we are less uh, financially incentivized. Speaking of helping. Here we uh, go. What we got? What we got? Hey. 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 <gasps> oh, yeah, I want those. That, that, that's heading my way right this moment in time. Is that yours? Is it? That's your pen. No, no, no. That, that's, that, that, that's, that's cute, but um, my one's in the post at the moment. Man, that is badass. Yeah, very, very yeah, badass. badass. It, it, it literally embodies the rise of the Phoenix, pretty much. Pretty much. It, it's an ama- it's an amazing looking shoe. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. That very dope. Amazing uh, and shoe. by the way, that 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 is that is my first ninety five. By the way. Wow. Yeah, that's how much I love it. Now you're a road man. Now, no worries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great trackies <laughs> with that uh, Phoenix on. <laughs> get, get, your red, get your red tech fleece on, brother. You've been rocking it out. <laughs> I, I pulled out the rocks. habaneros. I pulled out oh, the habaneros yesterday. They're nice, man. They're nice. So, yeah, and these, these, these are some big sleepers right here. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, gonna share what I share it with TJ. They're gonna big break sleepers. next then. Air Max ninety five yeah. habanero. Look it up. I was surprised. Yeah, go go go. Look up the Max Night Five Habanero. You'll be you you uh, you'll feel like you ate a couple Habaneros. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I, pay, I pay 130. Hey, uh, that's why I say don't sleep on sneakers. Don't sleep you on sneakers. You can't get a 95 here in the, this country for even second hand. You're paying more than 130. Yep. Mm. They're all super. You can't get hold of them now at the moment. I no. think ninety fives are making a massive resurgence, certainly in the UK. Huge. I'm glad you said that because uh, I know inf- inside information, knowing that the OG ninety fives are all coming back next year and the year after. I want the stash. Again, <laughs> neons. Mm-hmm. Love it. Love a neon. I like. I said I had an original ninety five in. I think early ninety six. It was not ninety five, but uh, yeah, I had a I had a, a neon back then. And they, yeah, and, they, and they, you know, they call them one tens in a lot of places. They were yeah, one tens. That's they the were one ten, huh? They were, they, 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 were they, they were like ninety they, they, quid. <laughs> T TNs, Nike TNs, or whatever they call them now, plus or whatever they call yeah, them. Max plus, yeah. They were what they were one ten. In my world, they weren't. They weren't called ninety five. Maybe may, may, maybe maybe when people started picking them up later on, they were one ten. Maybe, yeah, early maybe they, maybe they were 110 when they were re-released or something. I don't know. Not OGs, yeah. 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 Not, the OGs, not OGs. Yeah. All right, cool. Because the OGs, Bro. though, I ain't gonna lie, the OGs was like 150 over here, 140, 150, when they first dropped in 95. So it was a lot. It was most, It was was. they were more expensive than Jordans. Yeah, no, they were so less Nike, Nike, people thinking Nike charging uh, more for uh, the new innovations, it, that's old. Air Max 95 was the most air that we had seen at the time, and it was the most expensive Nike um, sneaker, more expensive than Jay's. So yeah, but bro, let's go. Let's get on to what we're always here to do this week. You know, <laughs> you know, when resale is too high. Damn, resale. Hold on, hold on. When hype beats go too far. These damn hype beats. Order, order in the court, order. When the back door opens. Guilty. It's time for order in the court. The sneaker court of public Guilty. opinion. Guilty! Welcome back to the Sneaker Court Public Opinion with me, Judge Public Opinion and Executioner. And we always get this reaction from the guests because they always <laughs> love it. You, even though you see it on, on YouTube and you hear it on, on, on the actual audio channels, um, yeah, we always, you, you, if you are on the audio channels, you need to come and check us out when we do Sneaker Court Public Opinion. It's really, really funny. Um, but bro, this week uh, I saw something on, <laughs> first of all, Ian, have you got a court case this week? 
No, Ian is not allowed in the court case. <laughs> Right, cool. Let me, we, we move on to the court I'm case I've got there. this week. <laughs> We've got court case this week. Uh, I, Q, I need you to share what I sent to you because I just want to. I just want to let you guys know to be careful out there. To be very, very careful what you purchase on the secondary market. What you actually purchase, especially if you're in the states. If you are purchasing stuff early, make sure you verify it. Make sure you check it. Make sure you put the blue light on it. Make sure you do everything possible to make sure that product's legit. Cause I'm gonna. Q's going to share something to let you guys know that pretty much 90% of your products are fake. Go on, bro. 90%. 90%. And that's like Spider Dental Tears, Hellstar. All of it. How does the business actually work? We get most of our product from China and overseas. They distribute it to a middleman who's located in the U.S. And he has to at least spend 20000 when he's buying from China. The Chinese distribute to him. He has to now distribute it to the resellers located in the U.S. So it's just like a chain effect. It's from China to the middleman to the resellers. And then the resellers obviously sell to the stores. So where do you fall in that chain? I work with the guy buying from China. The guy buys from China, sends it to you, and you then sell to the stores. Exactly. How many stores sell fake clothing? About 90%. Nine percent. You can pause it now, bro. So uh, I'm, I'm going to say to you guys... If you can't, this is what I always do. And if I can avoid it, I do avoid it. If you can't get your products um, from retailers, don't get it. Do not get it. Especially when products are easily manufactured, products are easily distributed and it's hard to tell, especially with clothing. Do not purchase your clothing it's on the secondary market. You might be okay with sneakers because it's quite easy to sell, but it's really hard to tell with actual clothing. Um, uh, bro, like that, that's crazy. Like I would not want to buy clothes. Listen to that information. And that's, that's background information of people that actually maneuver in that market, especially in the States, uh, especially the people that actually get their products from China and actually sell it. They're literally physically grabbing the products and selling it to telling resellers to sell it to the platforms and actually then um, flood the market with fake goods. That's not good. Just be careful. You're spending your valuable money on products and you should be really, really careful where you spend your money because you don't want fake stuff. And we hey. all agree. We don't want, we don't want fake stuff. Do we, bro? Hey, pro public service announcement, uh, everybody. Resellers and consignment shops are not to be trusted, ever. No. Some of the people may be cool. Some of the people may be even your friends or friendly with you or your cousin or your brother or your sister or your uncle or your dad. They are people too. Their job is to get over. That's their job. Their job is to get more than what it's actually worth, whether it's real or not. And they don't care at the end of the day. They might, if you if you know them, or if you're cool with them, let you know what's going on. But if you don't, they're going to get you. And the more they can get from you, the better for them. They're not going to turn it down. They're not going to turn down your, your money, bro. So, like TJ said, like we always tell y'all, be careful. And may all these shiesty, fake product <laughs> resellers die the worst business death of all. May they all become <laughs> Zeta Kicks at the end of the day. And they That's business and crumble and they forced to go get fast food jobs to atone for all the, the bullshit that they didn't put on the people out here that just want to be fresh. Palms yeah. Angels ain't that important, bro. And denim tears and all that, bro. <laughs> Better buy from the store. Guilty um, for all those people that actually um, participate in selling fakes to retailers and all that stuff or, or resell shops. Um, I hope karma comes and bites you in the ass. That's all I'm going to say, bro. I'll <laughs> sneak a call this week. You had any thoughts, Ian? I totally agree with you. Um, listen, if you want to buy fakes, buy fakes. But as long as you sell them as fakes, I don't really have a problem with it, to be perfectly honest. Mm -mm. My issue is people being shysters like selling to people who don't know uh that's yep. it's just confidence confidence tricksters they're they're just they're not they're not they've not got good morals i don't like that uh, there's only one word for it fraud yeah simple as well they're listen just liars the aren't they? they're just liars listen yep. to the man who ain't telling the truth this time he told the truth <laughs>
I don't know about that bogus court case from <laughs> months ago. I don't know about that whole Jordan 11 thing, but apart from that, it's right. When resale is too high. Damn, resale is too high. Hold on, hold on. When hype beats go too far. These damn hype beats. Order, order in the court, order. When the back door opens. Guilty. It's time for. Order in the court. The sneaker court of public Guilty. opinion. Hey. Um, just, just on that matter, uh, we, we, I think, I think we saw it, uh, a long time ago after COVID. I think he, he mentioned it, he got sold. Um, and we, we talked about it since COVID finish. These resource shops are starting to close down slow, slow slowly, but surely. Yep. And we, we saw it. We saw, we, we knew like, it's obvious that is that, that was a obvious slap to the face. You knew that was coming. Um, because, you, it's not sustainable. Nobody's buying sneakers like they were. Resale is not as broad as what it was in COVID, mm-hmm. and most of these shops are going back online, which which I think is more the more the effective business anyway. But we saw we saw one big big shop um, in the, in London close um, or close its doors and go online. So that's going to be happening a lot more. And you know what? Online comp- uh, competition is way greater than uh, in store competition because you got a lot of markets to compete with. When you can go into a store and see it in hand, and you got that desire to buy it there and then that goes out the window straight away because then you're yeah. actually competing with like other other bigger platforms like um collect StockX, ebay go all of those are fundamentally online stores uh-huh. yeah so yeah just um it's it's, it's it's a sad time it's definitely a sad time very sad time for for resale shops but it was going to happen Definitely going to happen. You need to have you need to have a business case after after COVID was over. Definitely, especially when you sell selling paints. I ain't gonna say your name. I ain't gonna say your name. We know we know you had paints over there over there uh, on eighty five. The thing you is, had with... paints, you had paints in little five points too. We know. Yeah, Ooh. we know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who you taking shots at. <laughs> yeah, we know. We know we know you move. And by the way, <coughs> excuse me, shout out to my boy Retro Rick. Happy birthday, Rick. Uh Rick had me the other night. Uh, <laughs> and that's the story I was waiting for, bro. I felt I felt old. I felt <laughs> old. It was lit though. It was cool. It was a club full of um forty something year old people though. So okay. it was like old times, but we all gotta go to work in the morning, so ain't none of us trying to have no problems. <laughs> <laughs> we st- we still like our music loud and we still like to smoke a drink and, and dance, but we gotta get up in the morning. <laughs> so- <laughs> yeah. We like to party, but till about ten PM because then we need a good night's sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, you, you know what, you know what my missus said the other day, right? Which is quite funny. Um, she was like, "Back in the day, I could put my put my feet in a certain position and keep them there and move, and it'll be fine." And now, five minutes. Or ten minutes, and I need to move it because otherwise it starts starts to ache. It's like, when did that happen? It said, when you hit thirty. <laughs> hey, you don't even stop. know. Let's, let's you don't even know. Wait till you hit fifty. Believe me, everything hurts all the time. Yelling ain't ourselves, y'all. Yelling ain't ourselves. We gotta start. We can't stop. We can't yell it ourselves for the young people. <laughs> we're, we're all still twenty here. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> we're all still here. Twenty. Here. Twenty in here. <laughs> Yeah, for sure, for sure, hundred percent, hundred percent. That would keep us great, bro. Exactly, bro. Exactly, bro. You're only as you're only as old as you feel. That's what I'm gonna say. So I'm still I'm still like 16 years old. All right, cool. On that note, <laughs> on that note, guys, <laughs> cool it, bro. Uh, Ian, have you got anything more you wanna say? Um, or are we we are definitely gonna have you back. Like you, you've been such an awesome guest this week. And even yeah, though you was gonna kick. <laughs> I already know I'm guilty. <laughs> I've been married. I've been married a long time. I'm always guilty. <laughs> say it, say it, Listen bro. Listen to the you man know. when you tell him the truth. 
That's the one. That's the one. All right, uh, Ian, it was a, it's been wonderful to have a conversation with you. We always open up the, the podcast to the community and people like yourself um, to come on and have a discussion. It's awesome to have a discussion with you. It was so enlightful to have a discussion with you today as well. I thought I thought it was gonna get I thought it was gonna get very tetchy, like in terms of like very conflicty, but it was a dope conversation. I enjoyed that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> we're just we're just we're just guys who like trainers or sneakers. Yeah, and yeah. we like different things, but the love is the same. Yeah, yeah we exactly. Like, we like uh, trainers and sneakers, not crepes. Definitely not crepes. I don't like those French pancakes. <laughs> you, you like you like croissant, like, croissant. I like croissant. <laughs> Man. On that note, bro. All right, cool. all right. <laughs> Episode 112, man. Hopefully everybody has a great day, great week, great month. And love the people that you love, bro. And hopefully they love y'all back. Because we yep. love y'all. We know y'all love us. For Ian, for TJ, episode 112, man. Hey, buy what you like. Rock what you like. Don't believe the hype. Because the hype ain't real. And sneakers don't make you cool. Cause you make you the sneakers make cool. Sneakers cool. Hundred yeah, percent. We're in the grits. Hey. Finally, we're in the grits. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's been a pleasure, gentlemen. It really has. It's been a total pleasure. No worries, Thank bro. you so much. You welcome. <laughs> we appreciate you, welcome, you bro. Hundred percent. We out of here. Peace out, y'all. Peace out. Peace. Peace.